Hello, 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 and welcome to today's stream, everybody. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to Hunters of Io. We're back with another great, fantastic, and exciting hunt. Give me that forest sound. Oh, yeah. As you guys may recall from before, we were left in the middle of a giant hunt against the noxious Anuraba, or rather a void variant of it, as this mysterious void energy has spread throughout the Atropa Forest. It is uncertain what the fate of the hunters of this area will be, as apparently a disturbance has spread across Atropa. But is it the void or something else in its entirety? That is what we're going to go ahead and find out today. I'm going to let everybody know that I am unmuting. Turkey Hello, chair. everybody. Crackers. Hello. 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 Hey, yo. How y'all doing today? Pretty all right. Splendid. Fantastic. I'm alive. <laughs> Momo uh, live. Momo live. It's <laughs> better than some days. Yeah. That's, uh, I mean, looking at your character right now on the map, it's, uh, <laughs> it's a real it's fine it's a real 50 50 scenario but you know um fine. you know i'm just chilling <laughs> i'm just chilling i, I saw i saw vv lay down last time and i'm i'm just like yeah I'll do that. <laughs> all right well oh, so i should take a nap okay yeah if, if you'd sure. like also yeah there's the uh the frozen ice that stopped um <laughs> To stop this, yeah, a lot happened uh, with a with a with a plethora of improv moves that were absolutely phenomenal, including throwing the bag of salt. Uh, while I remember the Constitution saving throw definitely succeeded, um, it kind of yeah, it stopped it a little bit from its uh, breaking its concentration a little bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, so as a brief recap, to everyone, you all are in the middle of a very perilous fight against the Noxious Anuraba which is essentially this giant frog infused with the power of poison. And yet this, uh, to add a little bit of variance and a little bit of difficulty, the, this mysterious substance known as the void has started to creep through the Atropa forests and has infected the frog that you face itself. While it still has uh, powerful capabilities and enhanced uh, poison damaging like moves and attacks, it also seems to be able to conjure up the void in the form of these little voidlings that uh, it creates just through this new manifestation that it has. Uh, last turn is a couple of recaps. I'm also reading the notes. <gasps> Naomi, thank you for copy and pasting the notes. Uh... Um, the concentration turn just ended. Yep. Concentration turn has ended. Radiant damage has successfully been dealt this round, which will... Cause the summoning uh, at the turn one be interrupted. So very good on that. Yeah. Uh, also, at the same time, pickles kind of came in with uh, <laughs> came in freaking swinging with the with their smites. Oh yeah. This <laughs> godlike one turn. Oh my god. How much damage did he do in that one turn? I need he to know. Did, did two vulnerables. Uh, man, it was a lot between. Yeah, between adding the smite, adding all that, it was a it was a good chunk of damage. Pickles just came in swinging with a, the blessed spade and just started wailing on this thing. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it because I'm, I'm spent. That's it. That's yeah. That's fine. Hey, some, sometimes you have to go. You have to whammy. Sometimes you have to go hard to survive. So, um, all right. Without further ado, um, I know some notes were linked. We're going to go ahead and continue the combat. Salt. I remember salt being spilt, attacked. I think it interrupted a concentration, but other than that, it did not add the vulnerability because it survived it. the constitution saving throw. The bat giant bag of salt. Also, this was a really good move because this means VV <laughs> VV's uh uh salt demise has been halts has been halted because, you know, for now. Yeah, <laughs> no bag of salt at that point in time. Man, I really want to do something with that. Uh, so, with that, the battle continues. The concentration turn has just ended, which means, Dirk, it is now your turn. You got it. Boom. Big 20. Damn it. <laughs> with a hunt of an ace, uh, it is, yeah, it is definitely nothing uh, perceived. Also, yeah, I, th I think... 
I think everyone recently got hit and I had the HP reflexes by a big giant noxious blast from the creatures, which some of you guys have been impacted. Hyo down currently from the massive attack. Uh, Dirk, your hunt check complete. You still have full round of action. All righty. Uh, this voidling that just spawned, it's aware of all of us, obviously. Oh, it's looking around chittering like a bug. It's like, right. it's just looking around right now. In that case, I will swing on Big Boy to get my sneak attack. Uh, oh, okay. That's a hit. Boop. Uh, for piercing, you're able to apply your sneak attack. Uh, 1d4. Uh, it's actually 1d6. Damn it, why do I do that every time? I, I don't know. It's, it's, it's 1d6. Bam. Bam. Uh, six points of sneak damage as you go ahead and stab kind of like at the the damaged sack of this creature. You just kind of like jet up. The uh, poison kind of begins to leak as it just it rumbles. Oh, also, friendly reminder that you guys all remembered from last turn. Uh, at the top of the round, it is going to enrage, which is going to add uh, two. Uh, it's going to add some enrage turns to enrage turns to be specific, and it's going to become even uh, deadlier than it is currently. So. Already, uh, bonus action disengage. Okay. And now move. Okay. So you go ahead and just yeah, you tumble over to disengage here. All right. Did you trick on me, because that would be. I, I, I got a plan. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> he just backs up and he's just like, "What the fuck's under my shoe?" <laughs> oh man, nerd under my shoe. What the? Um. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Nexi, it is your turn. Okay, uh, first things first, hunt check. Mm-hmm. With a 20, oh. uh, oh, what, what are, would you like to know? Is it possible to know meta knowledge of what it looks like it's going to do next? Uh, yes. Uh, I can, I can tell you exactly what it's going to do next. So, okay. let me pull out these notes real quick. So, because um, radiant damage has been dealt to the creature, it will be unable, on its conjure turn, it will be unable to summon more voidlings. Um, this, of course, does not prevent the voidlings that are already out on the field to begin attacking at this point, which they do during the conjure turn. Uh, in addition to that, because it is unable to conjure up more creatures, it is instead hoisted and planned to attack two creatures. And I, just because I'm feeling friendly <laughs> I will let you know what it is poised to attack currently so it okay. will attack roll that other dice perfect uh, it's going to body slam once uh, over to Eric and then once over to uh, pickles okay, okay. cool okay um... is it still frozen in place Oh no, it's yeah, it's foot is still like attached to the frozen thing. They'll be doing some checks there in a second. I was just out cold with her thumb up. I did something. <laughs> so okay, here's here's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking I'm thinking of doing dissonant whispers. If it works, it's gonna wanna be getting away from me. But it's frozen right now. So it's not gonna go anywhere. Well, well, just so you know, it's Maybe. it's little frog paw is frozen, yeah. so it's definitely stuck there. I'll have to do a check to see if it breaks out of that. Yeah, exactly. Um, exactly. That's the yeah. only thing. So to my to my to my team here, <laughs> uh, it might start running away, and I don't know if it's gonna disappear. I'm uh, <laughs> so I I will let you know that if it fails its check, because its paws frozen. It's little, it's little frog sucker foot is frozen. It's not going to be able to, it, it'll still be able to move, but it is restrained. <laughs> Sorry. It's literally restrained to this ice block. So it can go here while the paw, uh, it's, it's like moving around essentially. It's turned oh, into God. a little merry-go-round <laughs> until it breaks break out. It oh, my God. Mark it um, with a paintball first and then make it run. Does, doesn't it whisper... Does it stay for a long time, or does it only happen for the one turn? Uh, I will let you know. So, for Dissonant Whispers... Um, I get everything else about it. It's Yeah, it's instant. Uh, the target must make wisdom saves from 3d6. 
uh and it must immediately use its reaction if available to move as far as it can to its speed allow up to you uh yeah it does that once so the creature doesn't move into obvious okay, danger okay. grounds such as fire or pit but yep so essentially because of the instant it's not a fear effect or anything like that it looks like um it just immediately will spend its reaction which means it doesn't get an attack of op anymore pretty cool um to okay. just move so but it's limit it'll move as far as it can in which case it would do this i have to do a check to see if it continues to do right. that if it's stuck okay. then that's as far as it's going to be able to move Yo. so you could get rid of its reaction uh, yeah i'm yep. thinking i'm thinking either i should do it now and try to like disrupt its next turn and then we can all move without taking an aop because it'll be like further away or um I'll, i can hold it until it breaks free so that as soon as it is free rather than body slamming its way over there it's gonna run i vote a plan a okay anybody else I, I like it not being able to I'm unconscious. Opportunity. I would like to yeah. move away from Body Slam and then maybe take out some of these Voidlings. Yeah, that's then four of us that can get out of here without taking a taking a hit, potentially. Okay, um, I'm gonna do that. Okay. But first, I'm gonna Healing Ward. Oh, the poor girl in the corner. She's not at negative 14, she's at zero, just FYI. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you heal for three. What's your word? <laughs> she she just looks over at her and she's like, ah! Cause she started <laughs> down before. Gotcha. Healing word is, ha! Ah! Okay, so with a healing yelp, uh, you go ahead and heal Hayo for three hit points. Hayo, you are back up and no longer unconscious. And now we're gonna go for some. She's gonna she's gonna whip out her flute and start whispering it. The frog. Or sorry, her. You don't want to be here. You're awful. You're gross. Stinky frog. Stinky frog. Stinky frog. It's, psychological warfare it's it's eyes sort of just do this like slow blinking motion one of the eyes will blink and it, as it opens up the other eye blinks and it opens up as it stares down over at uh nexi <laughs> <laughs> contemplating whether it actually wants to be here so a wisdom saving throw correct <laughs> All right, let me just That's do it a quick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this poor boy. Well, it's not a very wise creature, so we'll see what happens. And with the nice. eight, it stares <laughs> over at you, and oh, it just excellent. does not want to be here. So the first thing it's going to do is just going to, yeah, it's immediately spin its reaction to start its leap. This, of course, will provoke any attacks of bot for anyone that has their reactions available. And oh, if they do yes. wish to suspend it. And it's going to go ahead and make a strength check to see if it could brute force its way out of the ice that it has gotten itself stuck to. So with that, I shall now roll. Here we go. Um, well, this is actually a very formidable this is actually a very strong boy because of the void infusion here we go uh with a six it is unable to move further as it continues to lift its paw up it's looking around in a panic you can literally hear it as if insults are just reverberating within its mind as it's trying to get away from this freaking bully it doesn't move any farther than that right now i'm sorry is it in the wrong position right now wouldn't nope. it be it's right it's it's as it's as it far as it can go liquid. yeah oh, okay. so it it, it kind of like turns around along with it so it's like it's like tokyo oh, drifting God. right now he's around the... his arm <laughs> yeah keep pushing him <laughs> oh, it's tokyo drifting currently like around this <laughs> ice block as it's was... trying to pull out <laughs> uh, okay um, so naomi with an eight that is a miss uh pickles mm -hmm. you rolled uh the damage i need you to roll the the hit Oh, just, the hit. Whoops. Yeah, no problem. Oh, you guys got blessed. Yeah, I have. 18. Um, what did I have? Now remember I your food had, effects. 
I had less. Uh, or sorry, I had lucky. Mm -hmm. And so, that is only an adding a 1d4, right? Uh, lucky is reroll. Lucky is a reroll. Yep. If you so oh. decide to do so. Mm, no. I'm okay. Does a 16 hit? Uh, a 16 will hit. For five points of damage. And then, and then there's also the 14 psychic damage. Yep, let me go ahead and apply that. Thank you. The five piercing. <laughs> it's it's <laughs> mine being assaulted. Uh the pickles the, the spade itself. Uh go ahead and click the damage for the pickle spade. I only yep, yep. uh I only yep, thank you. Four points of damage for the spade. And then the stats. Yes. So all very good attacks as it tries to pull away as much as it can, but it, it can't leave this icy area as it begins to move around in a panic. Do you um do you move at all? Yeah, I'm gonna move. It also still has one stack of vulnerability, but I'm assuming it's too late to You have to call it beforehand. Yeah, yeah you have yeah, to call yeah. it before it's the damage is rolled. I don't do enough damage to justify that anyway. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I wanna space out a little bit and get away from uh, one of the people that's gonna be body slammed. All right. Right here. So. That's my turn. All right. On the conjure turn, uh, the creatures will begin immediately just scurrying around to go for the attack. Oh, boy. And uh, as it does so, this one's going to run over to as well. So one attack here, one attack, one attack here. <laughs> It's fine. Y'all are going to be fine. All right. So, Eric, uh, 18 to break armor class. Pickles, it's... 23 to break armor class. Oh, and, fuck. yep. And next seat, 16 to break armor class. Okay, wait. Oh, it hits. Mm hmm. Also, I think you can, we all get hit. Yep. You could also use Lucky to re roll attack rolls made against you, just FYI, if you so decide to do that. Um, Eric, you will take two points of bludgeoning damage. Pickles, you'll okay. take seven points of bludgeoning Woo! damage. Pickles, you are not looking good at this point in time. And Nexi, not rolling yeah. rolling lucky or not rolling lucky? No, not rolling. Okay. One point of bludgeoning damage. Good choice. Good Easy choice. Clap. Easy clap. Easy clap. Uh, this creature, who is now in an absolute panic, uncertain of the voices that is flooded within its head, uh, will begin to thrash around with a variety of body slams, since there's only one target in the area, aka Vivi. Uh, Vivi is just going to take two just belly flops from this creature as it's freaking out it. around the area. Uh, 12, I'm big and I'm sturdy. 12 to hit and 25 to hit. The 25 will be 11 points of damage at maximum damage. Oof. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, the 12 misses, thankfully. That, the, that 11 hits. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling it. It hurts. Mm-hmm. Look at this way. He probably won't eat you because you're saturated with salt. <laughs> <laughs> no, he he's well-seasoned. Like he's well-seasoned. Also, the salt is within. So he, he <laughs> definitely doesn't didn't like the salt. He, 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 would, he wouldn't know better. That sounds like a special ability like a eldritch chef would have the salt within. The salt within, yeah. Uh, what was your hit points before? Because it just kicked up to 28 for me. Uh, I was at 18, so I should be at 7. All right. Well, bam. Okay. So at that point, <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, top of the round, it immediately, between the, the, the dissonant whispers within its mind, its paw being stuck in this frozen thing, salt being pelted within its body, it's just trying to live its life. It enrages at this point in time <laughs> as it goes into a very, very pissed off state. Uh, it, maybe it, it's your turn. My turn. All right, so it's a disadvantage to fire the crossbow at... Mm -hmm. Melee range. That is correct. And I have unbless. Mm -hmm. So the chance of me hitting him is very low. Mm -hmm. is, this, I... is this all pre prefacing the fact that you're going to try? <laughs> no, I'm actually going to play it smart and just take a defensive position. Okay, oh. so you're going to do uh, the dodge action at this point. Yep, I'm dodging. I'm bobbing and weaving. Put my hands in front of my face. If I don't look at the problem, it's not there. <laughs> Sounds good. Um, okay. 
-hmm. Okay, so uh, enraged actions are essentially like legendary actions in modern D&D 5e, which means they can be taken at the end of any other creature's turn. And this one has two this round. So it is going to uh, immediately take an enraged action right after uh, Vivi takes the defensive action. As this just begins, it is just spewing poison everywhere at this point in time. So uh, one's going to go right there. Another one's going to go right there. Shit. I hate it here. <laughs> I, I'm going to go ahead and I need, at this point in time... You know that gif of, like, the grandpa from The Simpsons coming in the door and doing back And then out? rotating back out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's just, uh, I'm alive! I, no, I'm I not. Need, I'm I, need con, I need con saving throws from Pickles, uh, from, from Eric. Oh, God. This is it for me. Mm-hmm. From Dirk. <laughs> And from Hayo. I'm alive. Hey. I'm good I'm rolls, alive. good rolls, good rolls. <laughs> oh. No, Hayo! <laughs> no. Bio, Hayo. Hayo, how much? I think you've only taken poison damage from two sources, correct? So, not that it matters either way. So, I think Hayo, I've only one, actually. Okay. So, Hayo, you're going to take 20 points of poison damage, and you will be knocked unconscious when it, once again as the poison begins to spew <laughs> over in your area. Everyone else is good. No damage taken. Yeah. I was going to say. <laughs> Everything else is good. Pickles. Okay. It's now Firstly, your turn. I'm going to second wind. Um, so D10 plus my fighter level to, mm -hmm. to my HP. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, five. No. Okay. Well, that's something. Mm -hmm. Three, four, five. And, um, ah, shit. You know it, what? This um, thing is steaming. It's like hopping, trying to pull a, a, a everything as hard as it can to try and get its paw out of this area. Uh, I'm gonna try and go help Hayo. Yeah, I'm just gonna, Hayo, no! And just be, like. Be warned, if you enter the poison area, you're gonna have to be, make another constitution saving throw. Will I? Hmm. Time to make a lasso. <laughs> uh, you know what? Yeah, I'll I'll tempt fate. Oh. So I'm gonna run away. I assume I take an attack of opportunity. Um, from, from the, these creatures. Yeah. You will learn these creatures do not have reactions. <gasps> oh. Okay. Develop poison All right, I'm gonna <laughs> move close. Roll that Constitution saving throw to see if you stop at there. You're good. Hey. You continue to push through. <laughs> my life. Uh, you saved my life. Now it's time for me to save yours. And I'm gonna use my hunter shield to use lay on hands. Oh. At that point in time, you're healing. Uh, how much is your your healing pool again? Uh, 10. 10. I'm using yep. all 10. All right, Hayo, you are back up. There you go, buddy. <laughs> at 10 hit points. Yep. Congratulations, Hayo. Oh, sorry. I just... And uh, with the rest of my movement, how much was that? Uh, 20... F oh, fuck. Uh, oh, I can use my feline agility to just double that. Yes, so you can. Move out of the way. Just over here. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, all right. <laughs> it's my turn. Just a reminder to everyone, if you have any source of fire and doing the element, yeah. you is going to get rid of it. Otherwise, it stays for 10 turns and we're not going to be able to be anywhere. Mm -hmm. All right. So at the end of Pickle's turn, it's going to take another enraged action. It's second enraged action. <gasps> it's going to attempt to leap away. But first, a strength saving throw to see, or a strength check rather, to see if it has the strength to even pull itself off from the frozen clutch. Uh, with a 17, it will break out of that thing. You will see the ice just shatter uh, on its foot as it leaps over. It'll leap over and attack. Right there. And land right. Yeah, right there. Land right on Nexi. 
Makes this, it uh, this does provoke attack as opportunity if it moves out of anyone's range. AKA VV, if they so wish. And you have your crossbow out. That's true, you do have your crossbow out. Um, bite and claw. Ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Happens ask, to the best um, of us. Yes. Can I do a normal attack with my crossbow or will that still be disadvantage from him leaving? It'll still be a disadvantage because you're attacking into melee. Well, it's either that or my claws that do like one damage. So let's go for it. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you roll it? Disadvantage. Uh, control click, I believe, on the hit. Ah, a little minus sign. Mm -hmm. oh. 21 still hits as you pelt the bolt straight into Hell its yeah. face as it leaps away. Go ahead and roll that damage. For 10, Man. an amazing 10 piercing damage. Uh, it makes its impact over here. And then... Uh, but, uh, is there something on. else? Oh, you, oh, yeah. That's right. You got the Hunter's Mark. Favorite 1d4 target. will be added. Three points of damage yep. at that point in time. Nexi. I need you to make me a dexterity saving throw as the force of the impact of this giant frog landing to your side is almost as knocks you back at this point. Oh my good God. You're but good. I was ready for it. You I was ready, ready for it. You braced yourself at that point in time as you just stand, you just stand sturdy uh, at this point. All right. She, she, she like, she wiggles, she wobbles a little bit. She goes, ah, stinky. <laughs> It stares at you, pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it at the moment you say, ah, stinky, it, it remembers that voice. <laughs> that its mouth opens wide. Um, and at that point in time, it's going to take its action turn. After, actually, no, no, just kidding. Hiyo, it's your turn. You're back up. It looks like it's about to strike. As a friendly reminder, if you end your turn in the poison, you'll have to make another constitution saving throw. Oh, we don't have to get rid of those. If it's moving down, we could just all move south. Let's go. There's a huge battlefield here. <laughs> Let's just we'll just keep running every turn. Like, kite it. Let's kite it. <laughs> It'll be dead before we get all the way around. We're hunting it, though. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. We're going to kite it. The forested, like, grass is, like, dissolving away from the poison spew that's everywhere. <laughs> And this forest just fucked. Turn the last One forest minute. down. Now we'll acidify the entire forest. <laughs> Environmentalists. Mm. Eric frowns. <laughs> I like forest. <laughs> Plants are friends. I don't know why you're next to me, but I'm glad you're here. Now I'm going to run away from this poison. Mm, why do I try helping anybody? <laughs> <laughs> just to grab his hand and be like, shut up, let's get... <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> uh, do you take Dirk's hand? I will actually yeah. allow you to move him uh, if you do that. He's coming. Um, will that half her movement? Um. So the way that I would allow this, if you're doing a, if you're pulling someone along, uh, you'll take your move action now, essentially. So you won't be able to move oh. again this round. Um, oh. And she will take a bonus action to do so. Yeah, I'm down then. Okay. Bonus action hand holding. Yep. Yeah, where are we going? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you'll walk over. Yep, you'll walk right next to her at that point in time, moving up to your movement speed. Your movement speed, uh, your movement will be spent at that point. Uh, Dirt, yep. bonus action has uh, has been spent uh, from Hayo. Hayo, you still have an action remaining. I remind you, she's like three foot something, so she's just like, come on. <laughs> <laughs> And, and yeah, <laughs> yep. And now in Ohio history, hand holding is a bonus action. Great. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> you gotta um, muster the courage. That's why you need the bonus action. Then I shall. <laughs> yeah, one arm holding her, her ribs and poisoned clothing and all this shit. Other hand, she got her book, and I'm gonna firebolt this fucking frog. Okay. Because I don't have any more water skins, right? 
Oh, yeah, you totally just like pss, freeze. Yeah, you don't have any more unless you get some more at the at the hunter station. <laughs> you, got, you got a water skin? <laughs> <laughs> uh, if Dirk's uh, water skin is somewhere that's reachable uh, as part of your movement action, you can take it from Dirk if he allows it. I, I have to say, in character, he wouldn't allow it because he would say that he doesn't drink water. Oh my God. I'm sorry. <laughs> I will roll for Firebolt. Okay. <laughs> you cast the Firebolt from your hands. It fizzles once again. Psst. Still just absolutely gutted from the poison and being knocked unconscious twice this battle your your life is literally flashing before your eyes at this point um multiple times yeah that is your I've action that is your action um at the end of hayo's turn uh the noxious Araba is going to take its action turn to just wail on its bully at this point so Yep, two body slams uh, going s s directly going to Nexi. So here we go. Two. 25 and a nine. So only one Ooh. hits. <clears throat> okay. And I need you to make a strength or dexterity saving throw. As, oh, the, as, as the weight of its body attempts oh, to knock no, you prone. Oh, no, my pog. did absolutely nothing. On Pog. Boom. Five points of damage and you are now oh, okay. prone. Oh my, I can't believe it. All right. As it then croaks. It's, it's a revenge. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. Uh, <clears throat> I will go ahead and apply that real quick. Oh, there you go. Perfect. I don't know why it hasn't linked. I usually HP not linking. That's okay. I will change it here as well. Okay. So, uh, at that point, Eric, it's your turn. Eric will take time to study the noxious spew. 14. Okay. Uh, with a 14, what would you like to know? Uh, when the, if a fire spell is used on the spew to kill it, is it combustible? Uh, it is not combustible, no. It just, okay. it just kind of like burns up in a, in a, in a very quick, like, flash fire a little bit. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to attack the Voidling that's to the north of me. 17. One second. Chat's yelling at me because we did math wrong. Okay, it's 17, not 16. All right. Thank you, Chad. Love you. Um, yep. So go ahead and attack the Voidling. 21 to hit. Uh, with eight piercing damage, it'll fall onto its back like a like a dying bug. And just... yeah. Then take a step here, and I'm going to offhand the other one. Okay. Uh, plus bless. Uh, that misses. Oh, yeah, go ahead 15. and do the... Yeah, feel free to do the bless. Oh, did it not pop up? Uh, it did. Oh, it did. There we go. Uh, did you roll on D4 15? 15 will hit. Yep. Five damage. All right. So with five points of damage at this point, it is still standing. Okay. Then I'll take a step back and they don't react. So. Yep. There you go. So uh, stepping back from the poison. Uh, this creature on his last legs, but still alive. Uh, you prance on over to Nexi. And that will be my turn. Okie dokie. So at that point, <laughs> it is now the creature's turn. It's, uh, it will begin to croak once again. And, uh, yeah, it is going to... <laughs> and spew another poisonous area. Eric and Nexi, I need you both to make constitution saving throws. Uh-oh. Those are both fails. 12. Okay. Yep. So at this point in time, 
uh you will both take hope hope we're rolling low 11 points of poison damage oh my god that's a lot mm -hmm. i'm at five hp okay. remember your fighter training you have second win <laughs> you'll have second wind all right all right also uh nexi i think your math was off by one so you're actually at six just fyi uh, just, just i mean i've been putting in like the damage amounts you were at 22 and you took five damage and you're i think you put yourself at 16. i was at 21 be, or 21 all right yeah you know what i think there was just a, a miss i'll put you at five it's fine <laughs> it's 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 because yeah it, it's probably because your character sheet said one thing and your token said another uh and then chat was correcting my math so that's probably what it was supposed to be uh okay cool thank you very much all right at that and uh dirk it's now your turn hmm are we still holding hands we are not still holding hands <laughs> you how that. dare you she, did you cast like fireball go. while still holding like dirk's go. hand you That's why you missed. We'll Keep... never make it in this business. Keep in mind, <laughs> I was wondering why you're holding a water skin if you don't drink water. So sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Keep in mind, Hayo is need for these mulings. Hayo yeah. is three feet tall, so Dirk had to like slouch to <laughs> hold her hand. <laughs> now it's scoliosis from bending that way. How oh, oh, dare you! All right, uh, I will attack the voidling to my left. Okay. Uh, nice 24 hit. Will hit. 24 will hit. You strike with nine points of damage. It curls up into a little void ball before dissolving into the earth. Now your time, big boy. And uh, offhand attack on the big boy. It's going to stare at you with a croak. And, uh, Ten will miss. Never mind. I just wanted to kill your son. It is saddened uh, by this remark. Sorrow oh fills now. its eyes. I'll now study you closely. Uh, 14. Yep. What would you like to know? I'm not quite sure what there is to learn anymore. <laughs> AC. Uh, uh, I'm looking to see. Well, what haven't we learned? Uh, you haven't learned its action initiative. Oh, let's do that then. Okay. Oh and shit! No, that's right. I can't move. Reverse all that. Did I you use my movement? Yeah, you used your movement. One, two, three. When he four. got moved. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah, that's right. You did. I totally forgot that. Um, so. So I could have bonus action dash taken my action, but then I never would have taken the swing against the frog. That's fine. Is that okay? I'm okay. All right. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yep. Perfectly fine with that. All right, yeah, you can learn its action turn, and I think at that point, resistance immunities and its condition immunities have already been learned. I'm looking at the notes. Uh, oh, yeah, you don't know damage immunities. Yeah, so you still got damage immunities, uh, condition immunities, uh, solidified concentration, which I think you might know what that does now, subtle rage, which I think you might know what that does now as well, um, and its action uh, initiative. But you have learned enough if you want more meta knowledge. I would like to know its mood. Oh, it is. It's, it's it, well. It's angry because it's currently on its enraged. Mode. Just a vibe check. Thank yeah. you, DM. Yes. My turn is over. <laughs> uh, all right, Nexi, it's your turn. You are prone in the poisonous sludge. This creature has knocked you back. It's got yeah. eyes on you, and it is not. It is not happy. Am I, am I taking some poison damage from starting my turn in this? Only it... when ending your turn in it. Oh, amazing. That's so good to hear. I'm going to spend half my movement to stand up. And Wait, what's half of 35? Uh, no, it, 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 it would be 15. It'd be 15. You'd have 20 left. Okay. Round down. Nice. I'm just going to move around it. <laughs> scoot. Scoot. It's okay. It, it's got eyes on you. That's okay. I'm staring right back at it. Like really wide eyed, like extra wide. She's like, oh, 
it no longer has eyes on you. <laughs> <laughs> Is the eye contact of Nexi too intimidating? Its eyes break immediately. <laughs> wow, like what a beta it. frog. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and then I'm gonna um another prefix has been added. Void beta oh, noxious and a <laughs> <laughs> What are the debuffs? What, what yeah. are the beta creatures? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a double whack with my scimitar. Okay, you brandish your scimitar, slashing up, both missing. Oh my Jesus! <laughs> um, you still have lucky if you so wish I to use do. it. I do. I feel like I need to save it for a very important save. Wait, what happens to lucky when you pass out? You still have it? Yeah. I can use it on like a death save if I need to. I'll allow it. Yeah. Okay, well then I'm saving it. The guy <laughs> winning in the in the casino, you punch in the face and he just starts losing. My lucky! My lucky! <laughs> Making a, like a potion or something. That's a bonus action to drink a potion if you so wish. N no, I used my... Isn't my... Is my combat because two weapon fighting, just one action is two attacks? Right. Right. You have two scimitars, right? Yeah. I believe two weapon fighting makes it. Let me double check. Guys, your two weapon fighting makes it so that you can use a bonus action to attack with your other weapon. I think I you can always do that by default. It just makes it do full damage because you can add your. Uh, right. Yes. Bonus. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. That thank is you. what it does. Yeah, but it's still a bonus action for the offhand, correct? Yep. Yeah. Get it. Yeah, that oh, never changes. Yeah, you don't have a bonus action. Okay, I'm gonna hunt yeah. check. Yeah, potions are bonus actions. Uh, eighteen. What would you like to know? What's it gonna do next? What's it gonna do next? That's great. Uh, it's going to, because it hasn't taken any radiant damage, conjure two voidlings. Actually, no, it's not. It's actually going to jump. Sorry, I, I got confused. Uh, it's going to fucking leap. <laughs> right back into the fray. I got wiggles. Please. Do some radiant damage. <laughs> Please don't. Please don't They're all wiggles now. It's doing that, you know, that, uh, that, that shack cat meme where the cat's like wiggling its butt. It's doing that <laughs> over to Vivi right now. <laughs> I butt wiggle Wait. in response. <laughs> no. Well, that's my turn. All right. And just as I said it, it's going to take its move action. It leaps up. I need pickles Ooh. and I need Vivi right. to make deck saves. No, 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 no. So here's here's what happens. Oh, oh please. Oh, you're writing the game, right? Uh, Eric, yeah, Eric is going to do 62 damage in his reaction. <laughs> mm, okay. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> watch me, dude. <laughs> Let's see. Go, uh, this go does provoke it. attacks of op if you do have reactions. It does? Yep. Oh, sweet. Wait, do I still have my reaction? I'm not sure when exactly, like, a turn ends. You still have your reaction. Have you, when, when did you, did you use the attack of op this round? Oh, I haven't. No. I, just, you, I don't know. I get confused about what exactly is counts as a round. Yeah, so of... a reaction is anything that you can do when it's not your turn. No, 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 no. I know about reactions. I'm oh, just okay. confused about like when a round is. So, so your ends. round, Nexi, yeah, yeah. is between the end of your round and the beginning of your next round. So since you just ended your round, okay. you have your reaction back. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to take my app. Well, eh, well, actually, end to end, rather, because you yeah, can, sometimes yeah. you can use reactions during your round. Uh, okay, so 13 and 12. Uh, let me double check something real 16? quick, because I don't think <clears throat> either of those hit. Um, oh, really? Even though we took out the sack? The sack does not lower its AC. Oh, right. Shit. Mm -hmm. Well, does a 16 hit? A 16 will hit. Amazing. So, as a... Does it have to? Does an action have to be marked as reaction, or like what can what exactly can you do? For so it? a spell, for example, the shield spell, its casting turn is a reaction. If you take a hit, you can literally cast the shield to lo increase your AC at that point in time, so that it may not hit anymore. Um, it'll actually, typically, your default reactions are attacks of op opportunity if someone leaves your threatened area um but you will actually have spells and actions that will define themselves as reactions so okay yeah but so i it, can't do that right that is unless you have a spell specifically that says I casting do, time reaction. Asking if, can i react 
to him jumping. Because uh, I don't I don't know where I am in position to be able to react. Usually, what spell is the reaction? Protective field. Protective field, 5e. I will tell you exactly what that does. It is a, uh, oh god, yeah, here we are, Psy Warrior. This is awesome. I can't wait. Psy uh, <laughs> Warrior. When you or another creature you can see within 30 feet of you takes damage, you can use your reaction to expend one psionic energy die, roll the die, and reduce the damage taken by a number rolled plus your intelligence modifier. That's really fucking cool. Yes, so, you can do that. So, my third eye awake. <laughs> so I'm well, just saying well, that uh, like Eric didn't do 62 points of damage in the Eric reaction. Eric did not do 16 points of 62 <laughs> points of damage. I apologize. I'm disappointed I in you, Russ. I want you to know that. Ooh. Don't be disappointed in me. Wait, wait, wait. hold on. Hold, wait, hold up. Hold up. <laughs> that might be a natural one, but we yes. might be able to unbless that to get a natural zero. <laughs> Let's do hold it. Hold up. Let's do it. We roll a four. There it man. is. Uh, <laughs> Na no natural zero. zero, man. What do you mean no natural zero? You rolled a one. It's you got a three now. Oh, I see what you're saying. A dirty zero. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. So Pickles and... <laughs> yep. Pickles and Vivi will both fail their saving throws. So <laughs> you see you see a psionic eye open on uh, Hayo's forehead. I'm going to go ahead and yeah, roll this. just screams out. <laughs> So I'm gonna go ahead and roll the damage, and Hayo, you determine which creature reduces that, that your damage. Sound good? Yeah. Let's see. Here we go. Rolling. Okay, you both are knocked prone, and you're taking. This actually might be bad. Here we go. Fifteen points. They are Ooh. both knocked unconscious <laughs> at this point. <laughs> Pretty weak. Can I do the protective field? Yes, you can. <clears throat> oh God. I think I'm only gonna be able to save one of you. That is correct. That is also correct. Yeah, so. it's gonna have to be. Uh, it's gonna have to be pickles because he rezzed me. No. <laughs> <laughs> she just like screams out. And she's like, I'm the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> roll psionic your psionic power. <laughs> yeah, roll your. Go ahead and roll your psionic power at this point. Or your your psionic <laughs> die, and see how much you reduce. Oh, I roll it. Uh, you should be able to One D6 plus one. Mm-hmm. Oh! oh! Woo! <laughs> plus one, so that's seven. Seven. I think so that saves me. That actually drops you down to one hit point. Oh! <laughs> Damn. V Vivi's what a down. roll. Vivi's down. <laughs> that's fine. I feel the protective aura around me. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh my god. I also get one. <laughs> but I, I don't you know. Like she's not a nerd, she's a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Vivi, you are knocked unconscious and you've been knocked prone. Uh Pickles also knocked prone. But still standing. All right, and then on its conjure turn, it will once again <laughs> Create two voidlings. They do not attack on this round, and this one is going to move straight over here for the attack. And this one's going to attack as well. So, uh, this one is attacking Eric. That one is not attacking because it's just been spawned. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, Eric. Deflected. Uh, four 14 to hit. Oh. <laughs> Prone, but still standing. Yeah. Uh, okay. It is now the top of the round. Uh, this creature is now exhausted from its rage. It will gain a, a vulnerability stack because of it. And... Woo, let's see what happens. Uh, after the end of the round, the creature gains one vulnerability stack. It now <laughs> moves at only half speed. Any attack rolls made during this next round are at a disadvantage. Uh, so this creature attacks at a disadvantage and also adding to that any attack rolls made against the creature are made at an advantage because it's now Oof. sluggish and moving around very slow BB, I need you to make a death saving throw, please That's okay. I'm good at these Should we just as soon, like, as, soon as I know where they are on it? Yeah, we should wail on it try to like avoid the ignore the void links cuz fuck them Mm-hmm. Just roll a d20 it's rolled d20. Is it just a d20? 
Yep, just a d20. One to one to nine is a failure. Ten to twenty is a success. That's, e. a, that's a success. Well, bam. I'm not dead. <laughs> All right. Uh, Pickles. Now it's your turn. Okay. With one hit point <laughs> remaining. Remember, potions are nothing. bonus actions. Yeah, so I'm going to get up. I have no healing left, so I've got nothing left to lose. <laughs> and I'm going to... Just start. Go for the head. Uh, yeah. Oh, uh, what is a special thing about hidden its head? Oh, nothing. I'm just... Nothing? Oh, well, yeah. I'll <laughs> hit it in the head anyway. Go for the head. All right, well. Oh, 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 Wait, uh, advantage. It, that's correct. Huh? Roll again. Yeah. That hits. Hey, Whoa. third 20. Are you spending? Okay, you're not spending the vulnerability. Good, good, good. No, good. I'll let somebody else who hits harder. <laughs> yep. All right. With that 20, that's a that's a good hit. Do you do anything uh, else? Do you still have 15 foot do I? squares of movement? Do I, though? Hmm. Risk in the biscuit? No, I'll, I'll stay put. Okay. Does that end your round? Actually, there is one one last thing that I would like to do since I still have um, superiority d dice left. Oh, oh. I'll uh, try a trip attack. Okay. So um, when I hit with a weapon, I can expend one superiority die to try and knock the target down. Um, uh, add superiority die to the attack. It mm -hmm. must make a strength saving throw. On a failed save, it is prone. Uh, DC 12. It is not prone. Okay. All right. It still takes the additional die, though. So what that is, is my superiority die? It's, a, I think, a D8. I believe it's a D8. Uh, yes, a D8. I will roll a D8. Yeah. Additional six. For six points <laughs> of damage as you continue to strike against this creature. Mm -hmm. All right. That ends your round? Yep, yep. Io, you have a creature within melee range of you, so any ranged spells you cast right now will be at a disadvantage as this skittering voidling go. It's just gathering around you at this point. All right. Step okay. away from it. It has no reaction. Well, first. Mm hmm. Yeah, let's see. I'm going to, it doesn't have attack of opportunities, right? So I can just... That is correct. <laughs> it doesn't... <laughs> yep, it, it, it's just getting around. Like, come on, get me! Come on! <laughs> he just, like, <laughs> walks away. No, he just got a little bowler hat on. He's like, come on! <laughs> I will, I will <laughs> gladly move the fuck away from that. <laughs> mm -hmm. It looks um, actually dejected. Full movement. Mm-hmm. And then I will use telekinetic movement. Oh. And I will raise Vivi off the ground and bring him to me. <laughs> Whoa. Yep, there it is. You can move an object or a creature with your mind as an action. You target one loose object that is large or smaller or a willing creature other than yourself. If you see the target and it is 30 feet from you, you can move it up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space you can see. Yep. Wow. So you just at this point just see, yeah, you just see the unconscious body of Vivi begin slowly floating away <laughs> and then dropping next, next to Io. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like fucking earth bending, right? She's just like air bending him around, moving <laughs> him over to her. And do I am I able to use like an herbalism kit to, to attempt to heal him? Uh, you cannot because I believe you're spending your action to do so. You've moved. Okay. Uh, to feed a potion is an action, unfortunately. So there's nothing that you can do at this point, unless you have a potion to heal yourself. That's the only thing you'd be able to do with a bonus action and potions. I believe that's, I believe that's two of my psionic recoveries, or my psionic die that I'm used now. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Oh, no. Yeah, Psy, um, Psy Warriors are pretty cool. Telekinetic movement doesn't use a die. Pog, so I still have three. It actually doesn't use a die. Just be like, no, here we go. Just, I can just be telekinetic. <laughs> That's pretty cool. 
<laughs> oh, I see. Yeah, oh, there it is. Yes, you get it for free. If you decide to do it again, you expend a die at that point. Yeah. So, oh. very I just do cool. it again and I pick up, I pick up pickles and I'm like, come on. <laughs> Man, I'm liking these this these I nerd take abilities. All, my <laughs> all right, Hayo, I believe that ends your turn. At the end of your uh, round, uh, the Noxious um, Araba. Oh, is there something else you want to do? Uh, I'm gonna bonus action and spend a psionic die for psionic recovery. <laughs> is that a bonus? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Psionic recovery. Let me let me double check this real quick. Where do you see psionic recovery? Uh, protection, psionic power, psionic strike. Oh, there it is. Action. Oh, bonus action. There it is. Yep, uh, that's literally once per short rest. That's insane. You harbor a wellspring of sonic energy uh, within yourself. The energy is represented by sonic energy die, which is an oh, D6. You have a number of these, but blah, blah, blah. from the power of the psionic. Uh, let me go to the recovery. Oh, yeah, that allows you to recover a die. Wow. So is that what you're doing? You're just recovering your spent die as a bonus action? That's amazing. <laughs> All right. Once again, Hayo is at full psionic power with no point spent whatsoever. That's wonderful. I, I love it. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep. Can I expend another psionic energy die to... <laughs> I believe at this off. point, I, mean, I was gonna say, I believe at this point you've spent your, oh God, unless you, unless you have an action surge, yes, you can. Oh my God. I do oh. not have action surge. But okay, okay, hey, okay. I'll say I if should. you did, you absolutely could be like, all right, action surge, another psychic die, picks up pickles, <laughs> pickles. Yeah, yeah. She's just picking pickles up. <laughs> Man, Cy, Cy Warriors is big brain. All right, yeah, that is the end of your turn at this point. Power of the nerd. That was really, that was, that, that was really good. That was really brain fucking color. good. So, the Noxious Raba will look over at you, Pickles, and in its weakened state, will attempt to do one body slam at a disadvantage <clears throat> against you. Here, here, come on! <laughs> All right, this is a disadvantage. Here we go. It, ooh, with a 19, oh. it slams <laughs> you down. And That'll no do it. No matter what damage, uh, Pickles is knocked unconscious. No. All right. I do the Street Fighter like, ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> All right. No. Eric, it's your turn. An alchemist is needed. He'll pop a uh, health potion and run 30 feet and pour it into the mouth of the mask at first. And then he's like, wait, wait, wait. And then he goes for the neck and pulls it up <laughs> and starts putting it in Pickle's mouth. Uh, it is an action to feed a potion to another person. Do you do, is that what you do? I will do so, yeah. All right. Uh, there you go. It should be 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Uh, do you want to roll it or do you want me to roll it? I'll roll it. Okay. Oh, I trust your roll. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and with that pickles, you're back up at nine hit points. Right. Let's go. Woo. Woo. I All will right. then bonus action. Uh, oh, you saved my win. life. I'm eternally grateful. Don't miss it. It's what we're here for. One another. And then eight ten plus three. Second win. Oof. <laughs> I will then heal myself. Uh, all right, Eric, you heal yourself for five hit points. Let me move you to the front so we can see your HP. Uh, okay. Did you already apply it to your character sheet, or would you like me to? Yeah, I already got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. Thank you. Oh. And now I will use Action Surge. And there it is, baby. There it is. Uh, the power of fighters. <laughs> first attack, I'm going to use the one of the vulnerabilities for it. Uh, well, you can... Um, you spend the vulnerability before damage rolls, not before the attack roll. All right, 16. 16 to hit. You're using a vulnerability. Mm-hmm. All right, go for it. Uh, so that's eight points of piercing, and then roll your 1d6 for sneak attack uh, for another four points of uh, piercing. Okay, and then offhand. 18 uh, to hit. That hits for six points of piercing. That one's not vulnerable. All right, one of its vulnerabilities has been spent. Then hunt check eight. Uh, tells that'll be it. You nothing. All right. Oh. So at, at this point, 
Uh, at the end of your round, it will once again croak. Spewing another poison over there. Uh, Dirk and... Oh, yep. Dirk and Dexia. You should make consti constitution saving throws. Oh, God. <gasps> Dirk's good. Dirk's nice. in the clear. Ne oh. <laughs> and also... Nexie's in the clear with a 12. Oh, Pog. Mm-hmm. Let's... Let's go. <laughs> All right. At that point in time, it is now Dirk and Nexi's turn. Hmm. One vulnerability remaining, 34 hit points on the creature. You said these things do not take reactions, right? That is correct. Things? That is correct. Right. Thanks. Uh, Dirk will move up. Spew that shit at me again. And we'll uh, swing. Actually, uh, do we still have advantage against it? Yes, you do. Okay, in that case, yeah, I'll just uh, swing. Uh, shift click for advantage uh, on the attacks. Yep, 20 hits. And if you're using a vulnerability, let me know. I did not use the vulnerability for that one. Okay, so six points. I see what you're doing. You're trying to get that crit. You're trying to get that crit? Sure. Yeah, <laughs> do it. Do it. All right, all right, all right. So that, that was the uh, first attack. And... Mm -hmm. Can I save my sneak attack for the offhand, or does it have yes, to be on can. the first one? Uh, yes, okay. you can. You can apply sneak attack to one damage source. Okay. In that case, I will uh, swing again with the offhand and applying sneak attack. Okay. And, uh, wow. An 11 will miss. Okay. Oh, then I will axe and surge and do it again. Do it again. Do it. Do it again. Uh, that's the crit. Ooh. That's the crit. Hey, that'll do be vulnerability. Yep. That's the crit. Holy shit. Damage. So that'll be eight points of pier. Are you clicking? Oh, click the uh, in roll 20. If you click that, it actually rolls the crit for you. What do you uh, mean? If you, oh, if you click the uh, name Delamaro Twin Daggers on your quit, ro oh, crit oh, roll. Oh, this button? It'll roll. Yeah. Oh, and then it rolls okay. the, the crit damage. So you deal 12 points of damage. I'm and assuming you're applying sneak. Yep. Roll 2d6 for that one. Yes. Oh. And roll, roll another six. Uh, 11 points Ooh, of damage. Roll. And with the 22 points. Dirk uh, stabs the creature true, and it falls dead. Its noxious spew dissolving away. The source of void now, now uh, departed. Uh, the voidlings will also curl up in pain and fall as well. <sighs> yeah, you like it? <laughs> I will immediately <laughs> fall to her knees and start working on the cat. Huh? Oh, you, no, I kind of like him like this. Just just, just let him lay there for a minute. I believe he's a kid. Wake up. Oh, just stuffing him with flowers. Forest bear, man. <laughs> going to save animals again. Uh. Uh, you go ahead and with a check with your herbalism kit, a uh, medicine check, since you are no longer in danger, you are able to stabilize BB. I'm still unconscious though, right? Uh, that is correct, but you are no longer you are you are you are no longer dying. You are stable. She will scoop him up in her arms. This will be the quietest I've ever been. <laughs> you did good, cat. You did good. Well, now we oh. don't have the butcher to carve. Somebody wake him up. Oh, Put something shit. like I, I don't know. Bring him close to the frog. It's stinky, so like it'll wake him up. Right, like smelling salts, but like it's a smelling frog. Could this thing even smell salt anymore? Probably not. Any of you guys got those little bitch-ass potions that people need? Ah. Uh, <laughs> I will narrow her eyes at her. I checked Vivi's body <laughs> for a potion. Uh, Vivi, did you have a yeah, potion? Does he have any? I yeah. do have a potion on my body, yes. Oh, he's got a bitch-ass potion. <laughs> yeah, I feed him the bitch-ass potion. It's a great day. All right. Taking uh, away one of my potions. You can heal yourself for 2d4 plus 2. It's determined between the two of you who'd like to roll it. You want to do it? Hmm? Nah. There you go. All right. Five hit points. Uh, VV, you're now at 6 HP. Well, bam. Ugh. <laughs> Where's my salt? <laughs> Is there any remainder bag of the salt, like, in the battlefield somewhere? 
uh, it would probably be pouring out of the creature's mouth in sort of like this bubbly state uh, from the <laughs> oh death God. throes of the creature. I dare you to lick it now. He needs the salt. He needs it. It'll yeah, help. It's like, it's like void infused salt now. It's probably like even better. Time to eat some void infused salt. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> you believe that this would be a bad idea. Would you like to continue to eat the void infused salt? Eric is so happy right now. <laughs> What you doing? Oh. Yes, I would like to. I would like to eat oh the void infused God. salt. As the as you grab the void infused salt <laughs> of the bubbling death throes of the creature, it's your hand burning and stinging from the salt, the poison, and the void. You decide to, in a very regrettable decision, put this in your mouth and swallow it. Uh, at this point, I require you to make a Constitution saving throw. Oh please. God! Kyle puts him down. <laughs> In which way? <laughs> on the ground. Click clack. Time to go. Uh, <laughs> Puts him down. Bang. <laughs> uh, constitution saving throw, please, Vivi. Oh my god! Okay, he I'm good did at it. You feel your inside burning as if you ate something extremely spicy. The void infused with the poison of the noxious sonaraba and the salt itself. Already, uh, your intake sodium levels very high. Um, yeah, it feels like it's like eating away at you from the inside. However, you're oh. being sturdy and stalwart. You believe Can this I look might at that is a good. <laughs> I just say, oh, that's a, that hits the spot. That's a Man. good advice. I'm going to save that for later. You cannot I... lucky another person save. <laughs> <laughs> I really do not like that I respected that. Ugh. I take the bag of void salts. It, when I say vo it's not like a crystalline void. It literally is just the spew, <laughs> the spew of salty foam that's coming out of this creature as you begin to spoon it. I collect it, it back in the oh, bag. But I collect that in a vial, or can I put it back in the bag? You can put it back in the bag and consume it. Great. Eight more times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. as All you right, little guy, you got your salt. It's not gonna melt the uh, bag. I, I, okay, so like I'm just like I'm just like wobbling. not at, okay, yeah, not at first. <laughs> All right, now we need you to butcher the the giant. Not I... all these sharp things and cut things. Where are my? I feel over. Where are my? Where are my knives? Where are my knives? I... Where are your knives? I don't know where my knives are. You <laughs> normally keep them. I don't know where my knives can I, are. Can I borrow your daggers real quick? Hey, Eric, can you borrow one of your daggers? Yours are made better. Mm, no. <laughs> it, it has to be yours. You're closer. He's He is five feet further away from me. Yeah, but you're closer. 20. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Fine. Uh, Dirk will hand him one of the daggers. And I will carve. And oh, will I call. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Oh, you, you, oh, will I call. Jesus. Your, your perverted sense of logic and knowledge believes that the void salts have infused you to become an expert butcher. <laughs> as this is the finest carve that you've ever completed of this foul, fiendish creature. So because of that... Sounds like a children's book. Oh, the frogs you'll carve. Oh, the frogs <laughs> you'll carve. You, man, you, yeah, that's wow. That's amazing. All right, so I got some rolls I need to do. Let me see here. So we got one, two. I got three, an Anorana gem. Nice. Four, 44. <laughs> oh, ooh, okay. I will do the following. So first of all, it uh, in in accordance along with the uh, um, twenty base Anuraba parts you got. Uh, let me go ahead and also roll for the parts you get for uh, popping the sack. Essentially, an additional three points from the sack being ruptured. So you're now at twenty three. In addition to that, forty four, you will gain an additional eleven parts from the masterful carve. 
Hell in addition, uh. so so 34 points from the Noxious Honorava. In addition to this, uh, you find um, within the guts of the creature from carving it, three crystallized void. This will allow you to, when assembling new weapons or armor, uh, once you apply, or to existing weapons or armor, if you apply the void uh, over to it, it will increase the quality to a plus one. Sick. Ooh. Your wow. butcher, your butchers will be, or sorry, your um, bleh, 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 your blacksmiths can salvage these weapons in an attempt to get that void shard back, so you can apply this plus one to a different weapon or armor. So Ooh. things to make there. Because of the critical going. roll, uh, the three void shards that you get, uh, I'm gonna flip a couple, I'm gonna flip two more coins to see if you actually find additional void shards uh, within the gut of the beast. So I'm gonna roll one D two, two. On a one, it's a fail. On a two, it's a success. And on a success, you will get an additional void shards. I will flip this now twice. Easy, got it. That's a fail. And unfortunately, <laughs> fate has decided Easy. that you will be stuck with a three. Well, I'm already happy. Also, I just want to clarify, because this is such a good carve, this is literally the best carve, and we found additional things from this good carve. That's correct. I'm going to assume that my character is just going to assume it's the power of the Void Salts. That <laughs> would be a fair assumption at this point in time. That is The correct. Void Salts have imbued me with the power <laughs> We're of We're literally carving. Florida Man now. Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Florida Man eats Void-infused toad salt and I'm, carves I'm, better. I'm, I'm literally just watching these roles take place, and I'm like, how can your, your your character has made a variety of incorrect conclusions that's going to get him killed? Can't keep getting away with this. <laughs> I'm going to keep huffing void salt before every carve now. Oh, man, it's going to be awful. It's just not even a benefit. It's just... It's, it's just poison. I'm just, just huffing poison. poison. Oh, man. Well... D D, everyone, welcome to the power of D D. <laughs> oh my god, wait, it needs to be like a drug, you know, in real life, people freaking smoking bath salt, right? <laughs> Just me. With his voice I salt. mean I, I don't want to put any. I don't want to put any ideas. I, this could. This could. This could really just be the start. Like if BB just like starts going to fucking hunting havens and be like, "Yo, you're like, yo, those are some great carbs. How'd you do that? You're like void salts, my dude. You want to buy? You want to hit? <laughs> VV could literally start a drug epidemic in Io <laughs> from misinformation. Local Io man takes void <laughs> oh and carves a masterpiece. I mean, his others to join his cult of salt. I, I mean, the cuts are beautiful. I mean, they're just beautiful slathers of cuts and everything of that nature. So, absolutely, I'm gonna um, be having a conversation with the barkeep. <laughs> That's gonna be. That sounds good. All right. Uh, with that, you still have your flare gun, and you can return to the Hunter's Haven if you so wish. Let's. <laughs> yes, how's 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 everyone feeling? Did we? Uh... <laughs> I'm looking. How am I at feeling? I'm feeling hurts. way better than I should be. Yeah. I took two damage. This is a record for the enemies of the world. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. I think how many people went down that fight? I think like three. Uh, yeah, we yeah, did quite a bit. Uh, there were five uh, people. Five people went down. Four of them were Hayo. <laughs> oh, Hayo! Yeah, I feel like I feel like we really underestimated this boss. Mm -hmm. I just, well, we didn't expect it to be all void of fire. I think it would have been fine if it wasn't like void infused. I think that's yeah. what really threw it for a loop. Yep. You never underestimate a boss again. <laughs> I'm going to continue to do that. <laughs> I'm like excellent. <laughs> Until I'm punished, I'm going to assume that I am simply just a god. Oh, that's my uh, that's my favorite D and D character. It's the one that always succeeds at all the roles. All right, I shall gather you up, More prepare cocks. you all. Since you all uh, once again, um, the flare fires up, and you wait for a little bit. As nothing seems to show up. Probably lots of horizons. traffic because, you know, lots of hunters were out. The uh, surge. Of course. I'm and just going to gonna take a nap. Ugh. After about, I would say, like 15, 20 minutes of waiting, an airship finally shows up and picks, oh. you, picks you all up and takes you over to the haven. 
while we move everything over, I've got to adjust a couple of things here. Uh, you all are free to take a full rest. And mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and take a take a break. Take a small few minute break. Let you go to the bathroom, get some water, all that fun stuff. Sounds good. Mm. Isn't there like a full rest button? I there, is there is. Rest. Long there rest. Is. Long rest, do. Yep, it's long rest right on the top. Uh, it'll be next to short rest and campaign hunters of Isle. Also start thinking of some things that you'd like to create because now you are ready uh, for your rank increase. So we click have... short rest or? Uh, long long rest. rest. Do we have time to RP? Before you... Oh yeah, no, no, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, you're, you're not, yeah, it's not, you're not going to the Haven and create your things. I'm like, now get out. I mean, it's D&D, &D. you're free to do whatever you want, guys. Wait, do we get like our D &D. rank increase from this creature? I thought we had a test. No, no, no. What I'm saying is you, your, your test creature is coming up oh. next. So oh, okay. you'll be, you'll be returning to Hunter's Haven. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I'll be right All right. Break time. Um, one, at uh, Nat, well, uh, Naomi already left, so uh, we'll wait. We'll wait on that. <laughs> yeah. BRB, everybody. Hey, chat, you like some ads? <laughs> I think that's going to be my favorite thing to say before I start the ad button. <laughs> I really like hope to like I hope I hope to the bottom of my heart that their message literally is just hey chat like some ads and then a minute and a half of ads immediately start playing. <laughs> oh god damn. That was a that fight was Jesus. I was worried about that fight but we're 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 working on it. We're adjusting. I think I honestly that level because I think there's a couple of things they could have done right. Uh, they could also get create potions, all that stuff. So it's uh, yeah. I think that was I think that was an appropriate difficulty. I think that was an appropriate difficulty. Oh, this is so cute. Oh. Okay. Uh, I have to. I have to. All right. All right. So much fucking music uploaded. I think we're going to go for a different there. Can Vivi gain a magical poison ability if he huffs enough poison void salt? He's literally inhaling toxins into his system, chat. <laughs> I will let you be the decision. I will let you decide what that actually means for a person of half stature to a humanoid <laughs> that huffs poisonous salt. I will let you decide what what you believe that will be. He will build up an immunity to the void. That would be pretty epic. Not every action gets a reward, chat. <laughs> Just FYI. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Here's the screen. You can do that. All right, see you there.
All right, hello. Hello. Oh. Oh. Such bird noises, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Hello, everybody. Gonna make sure everyone is full rested and then we will begin. So I'm gonna just refresh. Make sure, yep. Going down the list, checking it twice. Seeing who the fuck is naughty or nice. Up HP goes away. Uh huh. Three, four, five. How's everyone's enjoying? How's everyone enjoying today's session so far? You guys, you guys having fun? I hope so. A good session so far. Not gonna lie, I thought they were gonna die there. Hey, me too. I need to see why the heck. Nexi's token is not working. Uh, let me see if I can fix that real quick before we continue. Maybe. Yeah, for some reason, Nexi's character is not fucking working. Yeah, it's not. It's so weird. Well. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay. Uh, also, let me just delete that. Everyone's good. Okay. I will also remove whatever this heart is. All muting. Hello, everybody. Oh hey. my god. Hello. <laughs> Yo, That's I'm, beautiful, Joe. Holy shit. Joe I'm, I'm, <laughs> Joe, I'm loving all these pictures you're doing, man. They are <laughs> terrific. Hey, the colors. The kaleidoscope <laughs> effect is perfect. That, that'll, be, that'll be fun to show off. All right. Uh, I'm a little drained or tired. I've started dieting today, so, you know, I'm hungry oh, and sad all the time. Oh. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I Stay get strong, a, brother. I gotta reset my taste profiles because, you know, salt and sugar. <laughs> I need it on everything. Salt? Oh. <laughs> salt? <laughs> did, did you say salt? <laughs> <laughs> Salters in chat? Yeah. So, uh, all right. So, with that, you will arrive. Is, oh, oh, is everyone back, by the way? I think. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're all um, good here. Quick question for my character. Please. How long is the effect of quote unquote being high on void salt? <laughs> well, currently you succeed at the constitution saving throw, so it's up to you whether you decide you are high or not, but you do feel as if you are you don't feel any different. However, because of that expert carve, it is fair to say that you believe you are under the influence. So ultimately, I'm gonna say that's up to you at this point. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Long to mm -hmm. typical high last. Eight hours, I guess. Mm -hmm. Go to the deep notes. Also, <laughs> it would be up to what uh, Vivi feels like a typical high is. So Vivi can like come. This is void salt. So I'm going to roll a D13 and just say it lasts four hours. Mm -hmm. We are that. taking a long rest, though. So there, there is that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you will arrive back at the Hunter's Haven to see it very desolate and, and empty as... Oh. You look around, the only one that's there is the hunt keeper. She is furiously writing within her book. As she's updating uh, a variety of things. You're not certain what she's working at. Uh, but hunt keeper Frimmy remains ever so vigilant at her post. What do you I will, do? I will move up mm -hmm. and, and bang on the desk, even though, well... I'm banging on the desk, but I'm like, 
not tall enough to actually bang on the desk, so it's I'm banging a, on the side of it. Yeah, the paw is just kind of like banging up on the corner of the desk uh, for me. Uh, lightly startled will look up. Uh, and she will give you a, a smile, but this isn't a smile that her usual frimmy way where it's a little unsettling. It's just more of a, a comforted smile. And she goes, ah, you've returned. Yes. The frog was different than how you described. Um, her frown, her smile will get into fade. Uh, go and make an insight check if you'd like. I would like to. To learn more of her demeanor. <laughs> She's <The> sad. <laughs> the, <laughs> the side effects of the void salt. Creepy, happy lady is sad. Yeah. May I? May I attempt one? Yeah, you're free. Uh, you're all free to We're do all, so. Okay. Are we all allowed to? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're all allowed to do so. Okay. Well, Ele eleven is still pretty good. Ah, okay. <laughs> Derek believes everything is hunky dory. Eric is more attuned to the feelings of others. Oh. <laughs> I have empathy. Um, she has a, an aura of concern about her. And as you look around to see that the hunting, Hunter's Haven is essentially empty at this point in time, you can uh, kind of have an understanding why. All the hunters are gone trying to fight back the creatures that have now seemed to be everywhere within the Atropa Forest. And, like the uh, rampage. Yeah, and I think she's feeling, you can probably assume at this point that she's feeling relief that there are, that hunters have come back. That means that people aren't dying out there, essentially. So, uh... Oh, what'd you say? Uh, I didn't hear you. I don't know. <laughs> roll 20 is still loading the map. Yeah, roll 20 can be a little chunky, but we can still RP in the meanwhile, so you you already have the image. Also, if it's, you look on... It's been like 10 minutes, I don't understand. I need to reload. Oh, you can try... Uh, like mine was just a black screen, but that's because I was in the top left of the map that I can't see. Yeah, we're at the bottom. There it is. No, it was actually like loading, like saying recalculating spines and shit, but I refreshed oh. and it was immediately up. <laughs> yeah, baby, it got stuck at that point. Oh, yeah, good. yeah, yeah. Uh, so as Sims you state that there's something different with the creature, uh, a frown will kind of go over her face as she raises an eyebrow. Do you wish to report? What's, what went wrong? What's, what was different about the creature? It was all purple and goopy and it was summoning weird things out of its back. Hmm. Like little oh. spidery creatures. They were really scary. Yeah, there's I like take a, poison and everything. I take one one of the pieces that we carved, like one of the void looking pieces, and I, mm -hmm. I like show it to her. As you place this the void. This isn't the, what you describe. She will observe. I'm going to go ahead and make a general knowledge check. Woo wee! <laughs> She recognizes the thing immediately as she holds it up and observes it. This is quite strange. This is void energy. This is something more common to a, a separate continent altogether. The continent of Kathos. Hmm. Well, you know, there's in that frog. She'll look down at you and be like, you know, there were there were once gods that roamed our world, and well, I suppose we took we did quick work of them. But that was Kathosian tales. Nothing here of the, the, the force of Atropa. She stares at the void shard again. And you found this within the creature that you faced off against. It said it manifested yes, some sort of spiders. Mm -hmm. Yes. It was covered in this void-like element. And uh, while carving, I found the c crystals inside of it. And I even scooped up some of the salt that it infused itself with. And I ate some of the void salt. <laughs> and that's what allowed me to to find these look at these cobs I, I just start showing the carves look at these cobs these are the best <laughs> cobs that you've seen as you place them down i need you to make a persuasion check to let her to to, to see if she will believe that the consumption of these strange salts has given you some sort of awakening power okay <laughs> so <laughs> you're wired at this point in time as you're looking around this isn't a deception role this is something that you truly believe in as you I go ahead i truly believe i'm not trying to deceive her oh i, I know you're not believe. i know you're not that's yeah that's why i asked for her persuasion as she goes ahead and as looks around uh, she has her suspicions, but at the same time, the data does provide otherwise, and she doesn't sense deception from you. 
Uh, uh, do you place uh, the carves uh, as you're showing them off? I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm just I'm showing them. Well, I uh, like a little bit. Like, well, I as cannot much argue as I can without making a mess. Essentially. Right, of, of, of course. Well, I cannot argue that these are the carbs of an expert butcher. Mm. I feel as if study and more data would be required of that. You said they were void salts? So, well, uh, put things bluntly. I I do like salt. I like putting salt on my food and mm -hmm. everything else. I just started eating the salt and uh, we got to a point where I just, I threw the bag of salt in his mouth. Um, and at the sound of you eating salt, her eyes will open wide. Very aware of this topic, and she says, Young, <laughs> um, young, young, young tabaxi, that will kill you if you consider to consume too much salt. It is a delicate spice, and while, yes, it does flavor food, there's been studies that show that an increased consumption of salt can lead to your demise through a variety blah, of blah 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 blah. Let the cat eat salt if he wants it. She, lo she looks over at Dirk. I am trying to save your young friend's life. Which here. is why you should stop talking. Hmm. <laughs> I ignore anything he says anyway, so don't worry. She looks Eric, forward. Eric's gonna lean to Nexi and whisper. Well, she just said those are whispers from Big Pepper. Whispers for Big Pepper. <laughs> she, They're not real. She'll uh, she'll look over at Vivi and just state, mm, it, I salt on food, tasty and he healthy in moderation. Just be cautious and. Uh, do you show her the void salts as well? Uh, I'm going. You know what? Upon talking with this, I will show her uh, the the bag of void salts as well. And while you have a fascinating ingredient there. Perhaps more study should be issued without using you as the subject. Well, what else would you use as a subject? Uh, an alchemist, I suppose, to find out the the qualities of it, to know exactly what the proper, appropriate side effects are. I oh hmm. we already oh we already had an alchemist look at it. I point to Eric. He said it was he said I should try it. He examined it and said I should try it. So I did, and I took it, and that's what gave me this power to like. Car. I just hold up a paw. He just said that it was probably safe. He didn't say for you to try it. <laughs> you know, if Those you think about it, it's basically the same thing. If you think about it, maybe, maybe if like a professional alchemist looks at it, they might find extra uses for it. But right now, you're not using it to its full potential. So maybe you should give it to the lady. Not giving it to the lady, but I will find an alchemist to give it to. Oh, she holds her. She she holds her hand up when you're like, "Give it to the lady." She's like, "Oh, I, there's nothing that I can do about that. I'm more knowledgeable of things that have already been studied. I don't do anything so theoretical." Mm, no. Oh, okay. But uh, you should probably speak to Pup, the chef over here. He's quite. He's actually quite knowledgeable in alchemy, and well, has sort of a experimental trait to him. Uh, if you wish to know more and sacrifice a, a, a bit of your void salt, I'm sure he'd be able to discover something for you. Hmm. But to business. So what you've stated is this creature seems to be infused with the void energies of Kathos. This is alarming, and I'm wondering if it's linked to the creature's populace that has increased within the forests. Hmm. Either way, the double price that I originally agreed to you will not suffice, as you have placed your lives in great danger, and yet came across the other side. Hmm. The Hunter's Guild thanks you. And for that, instead of the 100 gold that I will issue you, she looks around and opens a side coffer. I shall document... Hmm. Yes, 200 seems very fair. And we'll place 200 gold Ooh. coins upon the bar. Vivi's <gasps> eyes light up. I can pay back my debt. And that's 40 apiece. Hmm. So, at that point, you're still free to use the facilities, although I regret to inform you the haven is not as lively as it used to be. We haven't seen a lot of these creatures, and we, we, we have, we've seen a lot of creatures uh, roaming around the forest. It's extremely dangerous, and apparently, from my reports, uh, danger is gaining ground as more time continues to pass. Wait, 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 are, 
Are these void things, like, everywhere? Is that why people aren't coming back? She thinks to herself, You are the first to report these void creatures. I am uncertain if that is the case. Unfortunately, I don't have mu more knowledge for you, but... <sighs> I would request you take your time to rest, and when you're ready, another hunt will be ready. I... I believe you're ready for your true test and well quite honestly it would help out the guild in the forest at this point in time if you took it the tarosusu as she looks at the document a bird with a, the beak as strong as an axe uh pickles you were gonna say something oh no i was just just flavoring like when she mentions the test just pump out my chest and hands uh, paws on my hips we're ready just, mm. you know. Well, rest up, prepare yourself for as best as you can get, and I'll be ready to put you on this hunt. However, I must warn you, these forests, as you see, have become quite dangerous as of late. Make sure you have potions prepared, your equipment is up to snuff, because you might be going into a, a dangerous fray. Good luck, hunters. Wait a minute, wait a minute. So, you're worried about all these hunters not coming back, and we're the first ones that have come back, and there's all these crazy void dark creatures out there. That's and correct. You're, you're comfortable sending us out on another hunt. I got a question. Where's your morality there? She looks forward and sighs, and my feelings towards the matter is irrelevant. We need our hunters as active as ever to cull the populace of these dangerous beasts. If I were to, in a moment of weakness, request that you stay behind, the dangers will only increase, further risking the lives of hunters out there. So, mm -hmm. at this point in time- What about the, uh, the Gorman mm -hmm. guy? Can he even use this as food? It's all like, voidy. Hmm. Our Gorman is, well, very interested in a variety of meats and well and she kind of like <laughs> gives like a, a very obvious sigh <sighs> the more dangerous the beast the more flavorful he believes his meal to be i for one look forward to using these ingredients for new cooking material mm. the gorman the gorman king does appreciate a tail with his meal and a meat infused with the energies of a dead god well that would be quite a difficult plate to pass up so uh. yes to answer your question he sure can use it fair enough oh uh, one more question while we were on the airship uh, hmm. the guy with the scythe and I had a conversation but I didn't catch his name uh, could you remind me of that real quick <laughs> Please Chandelier <laughs> Chandelier. Um <laughs> You uh yeah, as I say, uh Chandame, you, you already know the the his name. I think someone already saw the saw its name, correct? Within the book. I believe when so. What was that? Did I not so, write that down? Shit. Yeah. Can someone put that in the, the uh, chat so I can write it down? Yeah. Well someone someone said the name just now, so I assume one of you guys already saw it. I haven't missed I thought you were just saying a fancy man name, just a random name. No. I think I haven't misspelled. Yeah, it's uh Sean I will actually spell it out for you. Like Sean of the Dead. Yeah, it's 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 Sean DeMay, and that's how it's pronounced. Oh, <laughs> it's closer. Yeah. Thank you. Sean DeLay. <laughs> and then you do like, ooh, spooky. <laughs> <laughs> Um, never but mind, yeah. I remembered something. His head pops up out of a plant nearby. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. Uh, so are you immediately just like walking away at this point in time? Yep. Okay. So for me, nods and just says, "Well, let me know when you're ready to hunt again. Just make sure that you're prepared for what may be on the other side." And she'll hand the void crystals back to you. Good luck, hunters. Yeah. Thanks, Hunky. I vote that we make a bunch of Anaraba pauldrons for anybody that doesn't have a pauldron because it 
Uh, is it passive damage? Can you have two pauldrons? You can have no, no, one no, you can pauldron. Have... One pauldron. Oh. But for, for I... anybody that doesn't have one, um, I vote that we just make as many of those as possible. It's passive damage. When a creature hits you, deal five points of poison damage. So it's just constant damage. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, I meant the plating. Are we allowed to have only one type of plating? Correct. Uh, one, one type plating, of plating one pauldron. and one pauldron. I... Okay, gotcha, gotcha. In that case, I yeah, we... I, I feel like none of us can use those weapons, so... Does anyone have a pattern? We, uh, technically, any of us can use them. I just don't yeah. think He's any of us prefer guy. to use them. Yeah. It's oh, you, you had a regular preference. crossbow? Yes. Oh. He and uh, Naomi, doesn't your character use, like, a halberd? Uh, wait, it was... I, I mean, I have a... Glaive. Hmm. Just so well, you know, you... just so you know, you are free to use these parts to make, like, any type of weapon it just won't have the same added effects that the the hunting weapons specifically have for it so if you want to make a nabaraba uh glaive just as a stylized choice to get yourself another glaive mm -hmm. or even get yourself a plus one glaive you're able to do so but there's no oh. but there's no like added effect to that is the thing right i request a bow or a crossbow hey, we don't have any values of how much parts these things cost could you uh, uh they are eight and four yeah, oh. eight, so for the hunt, for the standard like weapons, it's eight, uh, and for like the magical items, it's four, um, including pauldrons and things like that. If you, yeah, I don't know why I didn't lift this up there. Um, if uh, you are just making a standard like a weapon, like a standard weapon, um, it would be. Let me go ahead and check real quick. If it's a simple weapon. It would be two parts. If it is a martial weapon, it would be three parts. Can you link the thing with the parts again? Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm actually gonna link all of this to you right now, so that way we have it documented. Um. So would a martial weapon be like a plus one weapon? Uh, or no. So so weapons are classified um, as simple or martial weapons. Simple weapons are typically weapons that anyone can use, while martial mm -hmm. weapons oh, will stay. require some training. Yeah, it will require yeah. a little more training. But typically, martial weapons do a little more damage or have more of an effect than a simple yeah. weapon would. So. Are uh, katanas finesse in your world, or are they standard? Katanas, uh, I do not have anything for katanas currently. Uh, that is in a separate section of IO that has yet to be developed and also hasn't actually done any trade yet. So. Ah, oh, okay, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we so, are we are fighters, so we can use anything. That is correct. Um, how many parts do we have again for from this? Thirty-five. Thirty-five. Thirty-four. Something like that. Okay. So, how does anybody already have a pauldron? I do oh. not, and I would like one of these. Yeah, I I think let's see. I have I a don't, bleeding. but I don't think I need one. My AC is oh, fine. Jesus. It, oh God! It's not for the AC because it doesn't do anything for the AC. The anaerobic pauldron is literally just when a creature hits you, when a creature hits you, deal five points of poison damage. Oh so shit! It's literally, if we all just got free that, damage. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it's absolutely free damage. So neat. If we um, all got one, that would be 24 out of 35 parts, and we could still make some other stuff. We could ha have all of us have a pauldron like that, and just we constantly... Could eat, we could make a pauldron for everybody, make yeah. a bow for me, and then we have enough left over to still make some food. I like so that. I want a ring of jumping. Fancy food. Um, so I'm making a ring. I, I, uh, <laughs> now I'm, I'm reading that real quick. I believe there was supposed to be some woman placed upon that. So let me go ahead and oh. just double check that. I, I do apologize. <laughs> I do apologize for that, guys. Um, oh, no unlimited jumps. <laughs> <laughs> my, my apologies. Um, okay. 10 fingers, mean? one ring for each finger. <laughs> Oh my god, we could stack just jump rings and like counter <laughs> strike style infinite like stacking. One I mean, ring? Yeah, so the ring the ring of jumping is like the magic item ring of jumping, so that is what you can make. Um so one second. Um Ooh, Hunter I know weapons, Nixie took parts. uh feather fall, right? Yes. Yeah. Parts and magic items. Four parts. Okay. So, this would be the price for everything. 
And if I have if I have a different documentation somewhere there, I'm just surprised I didn't put that there. So I apologize. Oh, um, what if you link that and then just pinned it? And so like, yep, all future stuff would be or I mean, like the document yeah, where you have I, all of the links to. I thought we did pin that. I guess no, I did we didn't. Sh no. My apologies. I will do that right now. Looking uh, Shandam. Shandam. And I will pin that as well. Thank you very much. Um, okay, so. <sighs> Double checking real quick. Alright, so for the poison. Mm -hmm. It will be twice a, per hunt. a twice per hunt. That is correct. Twice per hunt will be the uh for the pauldrons. So still 10 poison damage if it successfully mm. hits. Uh, but yeah, it'll be twice per hunt. Okay. So, I mean, I think that's like, if we consider that some boss battles will be longer across all of us, if we all get one right now because we don't have pauldrons and we mm -hmm. have nothing better to spend it on, that's 60 damage for free. Mm -hmm. Still very good. So I think it's a good idea to still spend 24 parts unless somebody no. has something else. We don't need yeah. much else. So. Yeah. No, I like that idea. As long as I get my crossbow, I'm cool with it. 24 plus 8. The Anuraba crossbow. 32. Oh, yeah, and we might be able to spend less parts on some of it, so we might Correct. get more stuff, too. All right. Yeah. Yep. Dog. Also, <laughs> of jumping uh, for everyone. just a side note for you, VV, the Anuraba crossbow allows you to cast two level one ranger spells, so you will actually gain access to magic when you get this. The Does void salt mean... bless me. If I roll further. a one on crafting it, can he not get magic? <laughs> <laughs> like a like a butchered ass on a robber crossbow. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? If if if, if 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 everyone's down for that, I am totally cool. You would just get I'm down for that. One. Yeah. You, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like how you're like, I'm down for that. Hey um, Vivi, do you want to quote assist me again? <laughs> nope. I will um, watch intently. Yeah, I I you know what? I if yeah, I mean, if you guys like punishment, Anuraba crossbow, if you roll a one, completely butchering it, you get the crossbow effect, but you don't get the weapon feat, which means you don't get the spells. If he Hell closes yeah. his eyes, is it disadvantage? <laughs> <laughs> if God. you're choosing to just fuck up on wasting your parts, I'm I mean, gonna, I'm not I mean you're free that. to do whatever you want. You're free to give yourself disadvantage if you so I decide. Move to the, I move to the place I am ready to watch. I sit on the all right, counter. All right, all right. So let's break this down exactly what points or what, what uh, parts we're using. Yes. So <laughs> we are doing six pauldrons and one crossbow. We're doing five That's pauldrons. I want a ring of jumping. Right now. <laughs> oh, five pauldrons and a ring of jumping? Okay. Yes. I were, I'm going to make a, since we only have a select few, I'm going to make what's, a. What's our grand total right now of parts? I'm making a humble request to use 34. a void shard on the crossbow. If it's okay. not a one. Yeah, I think we have 34, right? Uh, you have three 30. void shards. So yeah, you're also able to add a plus one, which I, which I will adjust. 35? Oh. Yeah, 35. Um, and for void shards, um, if you decide to make something a plus one, uh, no additional check is required. You will just simply make the weapon a plus one, and I will adjust that on your character sheet when you we add the uh, weapon. It's just a, it's just a check to see if you can safely remove it without butchering it. That is correct. So if you would like to salvage your weapon to get the shard back, you will need to check at that point because you could oh. potentially not do that. Could we put a shard into an existing thing that we have? Yes, you can. Yes. And that's a free that's free as well. So we should definitely put in some shards. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should use all these pretty much. Especially uh, that, if they give earplugs. Yep. Yeah, so that will, <laughs> that will, <laughs> God damn it. Uh, that will, a, you can apply that to a weapon or a piece of armor. Mine has crit boost. Nice. <laughs> okay. First off, so we're going to do five of the pauldrons, correct? Six. If everybody. No, just... I'm doing, I'm doing a ring and jumping instead of pauldrons. I mean, why not do both? Do we have enough? We have 35. We have if we save little... parts, you would probably could. Okay, let's let's make five right now and see how well you if roll. If we have left over, then yeah, yeah. I'll make okay, it. wait, wait. What, what, why don't we do this? Make five and then make Vivi's weapon and then see if we have enough left over. Yep. All right. Okay. So uh, starting off with the five pauldrons. I'll just do mm -hmm. five hunt, hunt checks in a row. Yep, that is correct. Right. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. 
He's just mass producing. <laughs> My oh, God. God. Yeah, all those ones, baby. <laughs> Ones. I'll Wait, take one on. ones because all my other Wait, stuff is ready yeah, already. Just, you just said just, you're gonna get the set bonus. Fun. I like, want it. Yeah. Here. Oh which God. which one do I get? You get you obviously get the one. Come on. I'm taking number three. <laughs> so, those are all your <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay. So here is what we're gonna do because I'm, I'm I'm learning what my players are enjoying. Uh, so for the 23, 16, and 19, uh, those four costs are gonna drop minute. down to three costs. Okay. okay. Layers. So save three. Yeah. So it'll be you save three points for the two critical fails. I would like uh, to not be lumped into this player. <laughs> <laughs> um, for the two players. critical. For the two critical fails, since you have botched the, the pauldrons up so terribly at this point in time, uh, it will have the effect of the pauldrons where you can only use it once per hunt instead of twice oh. per hunt. However, <laughs> however, I will allow you to bypass that option if you pay two more parts. Per piece? That's correct. I want my shitty armor, so I'm fine with yeah. this. <laughs> no, I love being a garbage fucking like <laughs> sad person. I love that screen. Eric like every single piece of Eric's gear is just fucking It's dude. a nat one. It's garbage. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so Eric Eric wants the shitty piece and you're not a, you are gonna take the the half effect. Is that correct? No, we we got two extra parts from the other pieces, so we should honestly just fix that one as well. Everybody I'll fix gets everybody except Eric's. Okay. So so we're just spending two to fix one, right? <laughs> yes. Yep. Okay. So you still, still points over run. We're okay. still net one anyway. So I'm yep. going to add uh, Eric to you and Honorable Pauldron, and I'm going to customize it with some notes. Uh, damaged only once oh. per day. I know she makes some of the loot like green, like it's uncommon. Can you make this a gray? <laughs> Not Man, just white, if, if, I, if I was able to change the color like that in like the customization, 100%, but I can't, unfortunately. Yeah, okay. <laughs> uh, but you will notice when you click it, it'll have notes. This is damage only once per day. So there gotcha. you go. But it does uh, the five damage? Uh, that's correct. Okay. Cool. Um, but also, because I'm giving you more uh, punishing things for crits, critical misses, uh, I will give you some more rewarding things for critical successes. So there you go. Nice. Hello. Uh, all right, so those are the pauldrons. You spend two more pieces to fix the other one. It still looks like garbage. Uh, the other Perfect. three are look of, of fine quality, sights inscribed in the uh, the, the Dirk Manly way as you go ahead and put your mark on everything. Uh, as you do that for the last piece, uh, it literally snaps the pauldron in half as it was poorly tempered. You look around in a panic as you take two more parts and just like heat it over as fast as it can so that it actually still works, uh, but it looks like rushed. Like it looks like you just, it, you could tell that you fucked up. It's but fine, it's perfect. Obviously, would never tell anyone that. Uh, who gets the, the busted up looking one that actually has the full effect? Wait, oh, so, so, um, so it's still full effect, but it just looks it just like looks It just like looks like shit, yes. <laughs> Hell yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> give me the hand-me-down. Right. Oh, thanks, Dirk. <laughs> <Any time money. laughs> you sound so defeated. Um... Um, I will add to your notes, VV. Appears poor quality as your notes. There we go. All right. And then Pickles is getting one, correct? Yep. All right. Sweet. I will add it. Everyone but me is getting one. Okay. Sounds good. Well, yeah. well, no, no, no. With saving one part, we have enough because uh, we have, you know, eight, four, and four. So we can oh. make your ring. Oh, because 36, the yeah, 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 right, yeah. right. Unless yeah. you fail, but yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll make mine last if if we have the parts. Okay. What? <sighs> oh, he wants a ring of jump. <laughs> yeah, no, we, I want to jump. Have the parts. We have the parts. If it's just a bow and another ring and another pauldron, we have. I I, I think he's he's preparing for if there's another, another failure, failure case, and he has yeah. to sacrifice more parts for it. <laughs> I I see where he's coming from. That's all right. <laughs> Don't stop believing. <laughs> Next, he's just believing in you right now. Next. All right, all right, all right. Um, can I roll the uh, the ring now? Uh, yes, you can. 
As you begin to mold the ring, the ring of jumping is of excellent quality. You place it upon your ring and it costs one less. Noise. All right. It's time. <laughs> My cross. <laughs> it's time. Hold on. Um, are, are these items uh, able to be added right now under equipment? Yep. I'm, I'm actually adding your items every time you finish something. So oh, I'm, okay, cool. Never I'm mind. taking care of that you. for you guys. Yep. No worries. All righty. Uh, Dentorka will look at VV and just smile. <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> it's time for the crossbow. Natural 20. Ooh, hey. oh, damn it. Uh, yep, you are able, uh, as you go ahead and create the crossbow, you're disappointed in yourself. It's one of your best <laughs> works. <laughs> uh, I will add and I will slot one of the uh, crystals in it as well. Oh, okay. Let me oh. go ahead and make the adjustment. That's very kind. Uh, so this will be a plus one. Yep, I will also go ahead and call it Anuraba crossbow plus one. Or the name i'm yep there it is so honoraba crossbow plus one i have customized it so that the two hit bonus is increased by plus one uh and your hunter crossbow will be unequipped okay one more uh dirk will hand out the crossbow to vv and say give me your share of the hunt and then we're even what how much do i even owe you that comb was priceless and he continues to hold out his hand and with the crossbow in it but that doesn't give me a number. How much was it? 40 gold. But after this, we're... 40 my, gold and we're even. My debt's paid. It is after you give me that 40 gold. You've taken so much gold from me. This crossbow is probably worth more than that. I'm giving you a deal. Come on. No. Fine. I hand over my 40 gold. <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> I pat my crossbow. All right, so go ahead and refresh your character sheet, Vivi. And when you go over to features and traits, uh, I've added the honorable crossbow weapon feat. When you select manage feet, you will notice that one of the feats, specifically the honorable crossbow weapon feat, will have a blue exclamation mark. This means you need choices. When you select that blue exclamation mark, you can choose two spells uh, that you can apply uh, to use during your hunt. These spells can be changed before hunts. You are now Magic VB. That's a lot of different things I can pick. Mm -hmm. Those are all just like, none of those are like homebrew spells, are they? Uh, No, I haven't added any homebrew ranger spells. So I'm just, I'm just making sure that way, that way I know like of when course. I them up, I can find of, them all. all. Of course, yeah, absolutely. Yep, um, all those spells I'm looking right now. Yep, those are all normal, normal spells. So you're good. Oh, uh, while well, right. everyone is marveling over VB's Expertly made crossbow on Dirk will just totally casually stick a crystal in his daggers. <laughs> okay. Wait, what, uh, what, uh, what was the cost of the bow? Uh, six instead of eight. Thanks. All right, one second. Uh, Dilo Maru twin daggers plus one. All right, if you refresh, uh, you will effectively have your plus one added to it now. And we have one crystal left or one shard left oh, that or... is correct we do have one yes is there uh, a training I'm... dummy <laughs> uh there is no training dummy at this facility but you are free to attack this plant if you so wish i shoot the plant <laughs> i'm still getting uh, only plus five by the way uh yeah, let, me, let me let me double check where's the bathroom <laughs> that plant as well it might be <laughs> Hold on, I I, uh, I I had to do uh plus five. No, you should be good. Uh, try try refreshing again. Okay, let me do a full cash reset or whatever. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's, let's see how that helps. Sometimes uh, it, it sometimes the uh, the it doesn't refresh still plus perfectly. Five. Oh, weird. Should, yep, I have plus six on my end. Are you attacking with? See, you check this out. So. See, it even says the name and everything, so I'm actually curious why it's doing that. Um, Under, uh... Yep. Yeah, I'm, uh... It might, it might be, uh, it just might be your character sheet showing, like, an older version. You might have to close out of D&D Beyond in its entirety before you get that. So. Give the whole control R. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I did yeah, it a bunch of times. 
Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, uh, it, it's uh, it's good on my end. And when I refresh, it's good. So it might take some time on your end. So what we'll do is when you roll that, if it still says a plus five, we'll just add a plus one for now. Plus, okay, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, no, no, no worries. Uh, everything, everything's looking good on my end. So, uh, okie dokie. So you still have one more shard remaining. You've got the crossbow over there. Uh, I refresh the crossbow. Crossbow should be good. You'll get a plus eight, an additional point of damage. And uh, yeah, D and D Beyond has caching delay. Can sometimes be up to five to ten minutes. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, uh, okay, got you, got you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, in five ten minutes it'll be updated there. All right, Dirk, Dirk uh, will hold the crystal in his hand and uh. Point to uh, BB. Hey, gather everyone up. Ooh, Bring why? it here. Well, we gotta determine who's gonna get this crystal. Oh! I scurry off to find Eric. I just realized. Did, mm. Who had poison resistance last fight? I don't think we paid oh. attention to that. <laughs> <laughs> nope, we didn't. We'll make. We will oh, well. make. We will oh, make well. a. We will make a buff sheet so everyone knows exactly what their buffs are. No! Eric wants you. <laughs> All right, you can you can easily make a pauldron though. Sorry, not Eric. Yeah, not Eric. It's Dirk. <laughs> Hiyo, you hear Eric! nerd screamed up as you continue to read your book. Eric. Hiyo. <laughs> Do you wish Hello? to study more about that um that 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 piece that you found? You can do so in the Hunter's Haven in a chance to decrease its DC the next time you study it again. Yes. <laughs> and so it shall be done. Uh, go ahead and roll an Arcana check for me, please. She's also like, kind of weirded out that she, you know, lifted a cat. So she's kind of just like, you know, the like anime eyes that are really big and the pupils yeah, yeah, yeah. are really small. So she's just like, <laughs> like staring down at the book. <laughs> oh uh, god with, a, with an arcana of eight this is just an extremely perplexing uh. thing for you so by the way uh i've noticed the skills you selected religion perception medicine and animal handling because you're still because it's been a few uh sessions you're able to move those skills around if you so desire if you find that you're leaning more one way over another yeah i didn't know i was going to be getting a spell book yeah. So with that, yeah, you didn't you didn't realize you're gonna be like the magic nerd that's over in the corner. Um, with that, do you want to switch any of your skills around? Yes. Which skills would you like to switch around? And I don't know if animal handling is even like good because. We're... <laughs> All we do is kill things. I was say, we're not really handling them that way. I, I don't know. I was I mean, trying to save that one just... that one prey animal before a uh, people animal started. Ha animal handling have... will still be prevalent. I have animal handling if you want to uh, um... branch out a bit. It's up to you. Two people with the same skill is still good, though. It is. So they can assist, too. Yep, absolutely. But it's not necessary. Yeah, yeah. If we want to diversify. Can Momo maybe think about it for the next week since we're close to end of oh, session yeah. anyway? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Mm. Just something to I mean, keep in the back of your mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what I want. <laughs> yeah, oh, you just... know what you want? Yeah. Uh, it, it would be interesting, too, because she's away from home. So she's not, like, constantly around all of her family members who are, uh, you know, would have made her... You know, focus more on religion. So I think I'm gonna switch religion to Arcana. Okay. Nice. Makes sense. Forgo the gods. <laughs> Come back to m logic Fuck. and magic. Fuck the gods. Become as book. Ah, uh, more enlightened atheists. Uh, okay. <laughs> She's a very progressive one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, no, nobody came. So Dirk is just gonna give the last crystal to Nexi and just walk away. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 but the pauldron, the pauldron, oh. we still have parts. <laughs> oh, she, scre all. she screams out. Um, all right. Uh, also, the book, I I gave the book since intelligence for skills is literally just brains anyways. It's a book. Uh, so if you would like, you may now roll another Arcana check Haya with your new proficiency as well as your intelligence bonus for being big brain nerd. Huh? 
Um, I don't know how to change it. I don't know how to change my proficiency. Oh, I yeah. Actually, I changed it. The caching issue. Uh, roll a 1d20 plus 4 uh, in uh, roll 20. And this is the command for it. Slash roll space 1d20 plus 4. Perfect. Oh, there it is. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I'm just like, you know what? Gods really haven't done anything for me in this situation. <laughs> as, you, as you abandon your religion <laughs> and become yeah. a godless heathen, uh, the witchcraft of science and study fills your mind and soul. Uh, and with a 23, you have abs you believe that if you go back to that stone, as you kind of like read more of uh, the stones that are apparently have been scattered all across Io, it is like an unknown phenomenon of these creations that a lot of people haven't figured out. You believe that maybe with the infusion of Arcana energy within the stone, you may actually have something, an idea uh, at that point. Uh, mm -hmm. The DC has successfully been lowered by five because of Ooh, your studies. Let's go. Because of Fuck. your studies. Your <gasps> field trip before the next test? Field trip? Let's go. You're always yeah. free to take field trips at this that point. That is true. Um, so before giving the void shard away, because there was that RP moment, if you want to give everyone a chance to come back, if they do decide to do so, as Vivi no. scatters around the empty bar, the tavern keep keeping it clean. Uh, <laughs> Vivi, you're just running, going <laughs> like, let's go, let's go, <laughs> like pulling like at people, like what are you doing, Vivi, to gather everyone's attention? If yes. next is given the shard, she's what? immediately it. What are you doing together? together? Everyone's attention. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, at that point, uh, I've given Why it. are you shouting? <laughs> yes. Mara, what are you doing? <laughs> Think out of it. What? What are you. <laughs> All right. What are you doing? Are you okay? Well, what? so, are you good? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm... <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm good. What's up? You're... Okay, you're void salt, man. Void salt. <laughs> I was like, are you are you high on salt? What's going on here? <laughs> void salt, man. You're taking this I'm... RPT seriously, bro. You scared me. <laughs> All right. Anyways, um, are you got? Are you still gathering everyone, VV? I'm attempting to. Okay. All right. Um, so at that point, Hayo, you will arrive over here. I'm very excited of everything that's over there. Um, what are you doing, Eric, as Vivi attempts to gather your attention? Uh, initially, I wanted to talk to the provisions guy and ask him if he sold something in particular. Okay, so you will not be heading over to the uh, smith. Is that correct? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Further cementing the fact you will have the shittiest gear. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> All right. And um, Vivi, what are you doing? I follow him to the provisioner because I also want to talk to the provisioner. Okay. So at that point, uh, Dirk, as, as you've sent Vivi out to gather everyone. She just never came back. Hayo, <laughs> first of all, Vivi does not return. Second of all, Hayo stumbles in. And these little, like, tumble. Uh, which one just of you a little bit of a limp. Use weapons? <laughs> Uh, you cat and you lady, right? Yes. All right, you guys fight. Whoever gets it gets this crystal. Oh, oh, oh. Maybe we could do a, a musical battle. Absolutely not. Arm oh. wrestle now. Oh, I mean, I was thinking we could like play rock, paper, scissors for it or something. <gasps> oh, oh, I cool. like that. Oh, that's a really cool idea. Did you have the crystal? Oh, no, you didn't. Arm wrestle. No, you're kind of an asshole. <gasps> uh, well, I mean, I, I'll, I'm uh, okay. Hayo walks out. I think Hayo was saying that over to 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 Turk. And the... I can't see where she went. Shit, I can't peer through the walls anymore. <laughs> All right, Pickles, Michael. Pickles has his paw ready. Well, we should do it over the counter or something. All right, excuse, excuse me, please. Uh, Turk. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Uh... All right. All right, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna have my up win. I'm gonna have my thing ready for the in the in the chat. Hey, wait, 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 wait,
Are you, are you blind? Hey, you want to bet on this? <laughs> she looks over at you, raises an eyebrow. Yeah, sure. Five gold. Yeah, I got five gold or five gold on the girl. Hmm. All right. Uh. Hmm. Yes, that'd be, be a funny tabaxi over there. Five gold. All right, get to it. Oh, wait, why are you typing? You could just hit it in a d and Beyond. Oh, can I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's the, just like where your stats are at the top. You could just click like strength. Oh, I thought we were doing rock, paper, scissors. Oh, no, he said he said we don't get the shard unless we arm ourselves. <laughs> oh, <laughs> boy, I like rock, paper, scissors. Yes, I know, me too, but, but like, otherwise he's just going to take it for himself again. Oh, I'll have a plus two dagger if you guys don't start. No, you Wait, won't. Wait, does it work that way? <laughs> no, 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 you won't. No, no, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, strength then? Yep. Let's do this, Wiggles. <laughs> yeah! uh, at, at that point, God Pickles uses all of his strength as next year your arm slams to the other <laughs> do side. Do I still have my lucky? <laughs> You do not have your lucky. The hunt has concluded. I'm Damon Nixie here. <laughs> One shot, please. Mm. Oh my God, we're dancing. There you go. Thank, thank you okay, very much. Charge. Yep. All right. So with that, and remember, there will be a caching delay. So pickles. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna slot it. You're not. What? You just have a shot. You're gonna just gonna hold on to it. it? Ooh. Yep, I'm gonna hold on to it. All right, I will then simply add a void shard to your equipment. All right, seven parts left. Make that pauldron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. All right, fine. Here we go. Big twenty shiniest pauldrons with the biggest sights, the hugest <laughs> sights. Damn it. Oof. Not a one. Darn. Oof. Um, it is of a poor quality. Um, but. You were able to create it with the base uh, baseline of materials. And then three parts left, we can make three food. Yep. We can make three food. Three food. I'll just hold three out food. my paws expectedly at the last few pieces. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme. Ah, uh, here you go. Ugh. Yeah, this shit's gross. So how do I make weapons from this? It's weird. He was all like gooey. I don't know mm -hmm. how I have like solid weapons from it. It's I'm not gonna question it. Let's just go. I'm just going to waddle on over. Just... <laughs> it's the kitchen. Uh, Anuraba, poor quality. Let me make sure it refreshes so it caches correctly in the future. Okay, boom. You have an Anuraba pauldron of poor quality. As you, Excellent. Before you guys arrive at the kitchen, uh, you go over to the provisioners as he stands up for, in front of Eric. Mm, what can I do for you? Oh, uh, you probably get a lot of different things sold to you. Maybe you just carry a lot of knickknacks and stuff like that. What I'm looking for is maybe something wooden or metal, like a a, a puzzle box. Do you happen to have a puzzle box? A, a, a puzzle box? Hmm. I don't think many hunters carry around puzzle boxes. Oh, let me go and see what we got. He will check inside these boxes. He will look up, look to the back, look over. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna make a quick roll. Chances of him having a puzzle box pretty freaking low. <laughs> oh jeez. Wait, did I? That's not. <laughs> Wait, that, that, that's yeah. not it. That's not it. That's, that's not, not it. it. <laughs> okay, You're here just we go. A one hundred. Nice. 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 Uh, but not nice enough for a puzzle box. Aww. So as he looks around at that point, he did he his find a a contraceptive? <laughs> <laughs> or perhaps a assistance device <laughs> he looks into the box as he looks around he notices something in the corner his face blushes lightly as he continues <laughs> to sort around <laughs> <laughs> he will then uh yeah he'll pull out what appears to be a a small like a very tiny wooden crate and uh pull it up and <laughs> drop it over and he goes puzzle box inspect this crate just a it's, tiny crate. It's just a little tiny crate. It's not even a puzzle box, but he's like, <laughs> puzzle box. Can I open it? Yes. I closed it. Mm -hmm. How much? Mm. Uh, he thinks to himself, yeah, five gold piece for a high quality puzzle box like that. One, I jump two, on the counter. Three, what four, you buying? Five. Five. Five on the table. 
Oh, just just want to do an experiment. Actually, you could help me, Vivi. He, oh. takes, he takes the five gold with a smile and pockets it. I love helping. Mm. Are you interested in experiments? I will. But first, I have some business. No, oh, okay. Him. Meet me at the bar, then. Mm. Hello, see sir. I see you're still alive, salt cat. Not only am I alive, I'm thriving! <laughs> His eyes open up. Is that the salt poison I... talking? No, it's the void salts. Um, looks around nervously. I've never heard of such a thing. What do you got there? How many parts do we have left over, by the way? Three. Three. Okay, I will use the... I only need part. one to make enough food for all of us, yeah? Yep, only I'm one I'm going to use part. the remaining yep. parts, and I'm just going to lay them out on the table, just like... Look at these fine cuts. I am a terrible butcher. I'm horrible. But with the power of void salt, I've been able... I've been able to procure such wondrous things. It's crazy. So I took the bag of salt that you gave me, and I, I nibbled on it quite a bit, but mm -hmm, mm -hmm. we were fighting the frog, and I threw the bag of salt into his mouth, and he was infused with the void. Mm. And when we killed it, this void salt came spewing out, and I took... I, I, I ate some of it. Uh -huh. and, and I was able to procure these amazing cuts. And I wanted to know two things. One, would you be in the market for void cell? And number two, you want to want to use some? <laughs> so, uh, well, your argument is sound. After the consumption of void salt, he stares at what seems to be the finest cuts of meat from this strange creature that he's ever seen, or at least hasn't seen in a while. He'll uh, look over at you. Uh, please give me a persuasion check at an advantage because of the evidence oh. we're able to show. Shift click uh, the persuasion skill and you will roll it at advantage. All right. Advantage, persuasion. I'm not good at persuasion. Yep. And that's why you rolled advantage. So with a 13, he will begin to kind of paw at his chin a little bit. He's like, let me go ahead and see this. Void salt. I place the bag of void salt on the on the counter. He can. Yeah, he opens it immediately. Looking at it, he'll just a just a dab at this point. He is uh, he you you've convinced him enough where he's curious of the quality of whatever this strange object is, and according to you, he doesn't seem to be deceptive. But he is not. It was not persuasive enough for him to be like, yeah, sure, what the hell? Uh, so he's going to just dab it with his finger a little bit and flick it at the end L of his Listen, man, tug. the first hit's always free. First <laughs> hit's free. And he he winces back a little bit, and he's like, this is, oh, this is extremely potent. It burns at the tip of the tongue. You took this? I took it, and I took a mouthful of it. It hurt, but the effects. Uh, I'm not feeling too comfortable with taking it blindly, but you do have me interested. Is this for sale? Yes. Well, let's see. I have eight uses, right? That is correct. Then half of that is for sale. Mm. For 40 gold. He'll look at it. Mm, I see. Well... Call me impressed. This is uh, an interesting material. You at least have piqued my curiosity. Uh, well, if you're only selling half the bag. Mm, well, I mean, I could be persuaded to sell the whole bag, but I don't I'd... think I need. I don't need the whole bag currently. Half will do just fine for my my own experiment. Hmm. Quite an inquisitive thing you've got. I'll take half the bag for 20 gold. Hmm. How about 25? 
ho, ho, ho. Seems the void stomp's giving you a bit of a haggling streak. <laughs> All right, deal. Yes. And he will give oh. you 25 hey. gold pieces. As he then uh, scoops over uh, very meticulously, so to make sure that it is done correctly. Half a bag of the salt, placing it in a satchel of his own. As he lifts the salt bag up, you will then begin to see, you'll see this, Vivi, he does not, that the burlap sack is beginning to e be eaten away by the void salt that is within there. You'll probably but, need another burlap sack soon, uh, or otherwise it's going to oh, spill over the place. I point this out to him. I say, wait, wait, wait. Huh? You're going to need something stronger to hold that. He looks at your sack. I, <laughs> Sorry. He looks at your burlap. He looks at your burlap sack, looks over at his burlap sack, and then it's just like, what do you mean? It, it's, it's deteriorating. Huh? You look at the bottom saying that, and he's like, and you ate this stuff? It, yes. <laughs> he points at the bottom of the burlap. That is happening to your stomach right now. You could literally, if you hear, silently hear a <laughs> as like it's like dissolving away at the burlap. I, I, I simply just shrug. I go, I didn't say it was healthy. <laughs> I just said the effects were good. Oh, well, I mean, I'll definitely find something for this. He'll double up on the burlap sack at that point in time. Continue I just had to, to point it out. I don't want you to, uh, I want you to make sure you get all of it. Hmm. I appreciate your honesty, little fella. And uh, yeah, he'll scoop half of the half of the salt within the bur the the combined effort of the burlap sack, and then look over at you as he uh, places it over here in the corner. Mm, I'll do that with my study, and uh, tell you what, if I find anything of interest to you, I'll share it to you, no cost, since you provided the material. I'm sure there's got to be something special with that. Well, there's gotta be. That's, I really that's... hope this is just one really long story that leads to, it's, it's, it's just it's, it's just poison, it's just salt dude it's just salt it's just yeah. poisonous salt it's just that's so, all it is so he uh he will at that point yeah he just kind of like scratches his chin a little bit i mean at worst it'd probably make for a good cleaner all right anything else you want little fella that will be all for me oh very well well have a have a good one don't die keep bringing me back Strange and dangerous stuff. Yeah, how can I help you? Looking over at Jump uh, off Nexi. the counter and go to the bar. Yeah, looking over at Nexi and uh, Pixel, Pickles at this point. Yeah, how can I help you? I would like to cook uh, my companions a meal. Thank you very much. Mm. If I could use the kitchen, if that's all right. You are free to do so. Uh, do not use that. He points at the bag of void salt. <laughs> okay, oh, I trust your judgment. Hmm. Oh. I don't know what it is yet, and I cannot be held responsible if you decide to use it within your meal. With that said, though, I'll be lo I'll be over here, kind of managing my items here in these boxes, so that if you do decide to use it for whatever reason, I will not know about it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and cook a meal, and I'm oh. just gonna put a little bit of the voice salt in uh vv's oh, dish because i know how much he likes it <laughs> that's a good friend excellent <laughs> what a what what a nice friend what, what a, a nice friend, friend. <laughs> just like just like sniff it <clears throat> and then flinch a little bit oh my <laughs> it, it literally smells like cleaner like it literally just <laughs> like it's like well it's got a it's, he, it's got you're, a bleach you're, you're to basically it. lacing my food with, <laughs> with bleach yeah. if he likes it <laughs> It's like it's like the in the I cartoon, love, whatever, I whatever. I, I, I love like the, the. All of us know this is just garbage, but our characters <laughs> believe it to be good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I, I, I like to think that it's like um, it's like in those cartoons whenever the witch is like mixing the cauldron and then she drops like a single drop of something and it goes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> that's what it does to the. Yeah. That's what I it does to the food. <laughs> Yeah, so and like like it makes like a smoke cloud in the shape of a skull. Uh, <laughs> all right, so a hunt check, I guess. Uh, yeah, give me a give me a hunt check. <laughs> chop 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 chop. Mince 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 mince. Mixing mixing mixing. Ha! Eleven. Uh, okay. All right, so eleven eleven's okay. Uh, with the eleven, uh, you're able to make a full meal for everyone. 
Uh, you, with an 11, will only be able to provide uh, one re-roll of the food check uh, for the okay. things that are added. Um, and because you rolled, uh, you didn't roll high enough for it, but I will allow it this time to give you a peek of a new meal mechanic. Ooh. So, some meals, depending on the monster material that you give, if you roll high enough with your cook check, will grant a one use ability that you can decide to use and to forego a uh, ingredient slot that only one person will be able to eat. Since you're using the noxious honoraba meat, uh, some one person in your party can decide instead of using an ingredient, uh, can instead activate the effects of the food to give them a one-time use of a poison spew like the noxious honoraba used. Wow. Okay. I'll let I'll let everybody else decide who wants to do that. Yeah. Um you you will still have to roll the check. Mm -hmm. And like, uh and there will be a negative side effect if you fail that. I, right. I just feel like lore wise, the person who would like fit that best is Eric. You just vomit. Absolutely. <laughs> it's yeah. not it's not even like the noxious honoraba. He's that's just him. He's just vomiting. He's, yeah, he's just belting. He's just spewing. All right. Well, I'm going to take my meals and I'm going to hand them out and just like uh, while Nexus is here. Here you go. And uh, oh, uh, I start to hand one to Dirk, but realize, oh, wait, you don't eat food. OK, damn straight. <laughs> just oh, walk wait, off. No, the blacksmith really wants food, though. Oh, and, uh, oh OK, kind of I'll drop one by. No, 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 no. He's busy. <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, oh, sh should I just uh, Hand it you know, to you, you so you it... could give it to her? Uh, yeah, you just leave it on this table right here. I'll make sure she gets it. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's very thoughtful of you. Of course, that's me. Walk on over. Give uh, Vivi the one that has got stink lines on it. What? And, did, uh... you... did you put the void on this one? Well, I, I, I saw how much you enjoyed it. And, and uh, you know, I, I, th I thought that you might like it. Uh, I don't know why, but... Oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna yeah, go ahead and ask. Can make me roll a that. for my own food? Absolutely. 100%. Hell yeah. <laughs> 100%. If you begin to consume your food, you will immediately have to roll a constitution saving throw. I'll hand one to Eric, and then I'll go Beautiful. and gently knock on uh, Hayo's door <laughs> with my paw. Yes? Yeah, 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 I, I brought you some food. Oh, um, thank you. I just hand it to her. So what you reading? Um, I'm, well, I'm, I'm very, uh, mm, thank you. She's just gonna turn. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, you, you, you got, you got like a bobin? Uh... I, I, I guess. I, I wanted to thank you for, for saving me. The first time I assumed it was an accident, but then when we fought the big frog, you did it multiple times. And I'm very grateful. And I, I wanted to wonder why you could have just hit the monster and stuff. That's what my master usually does. Well, I, um... I went in and out of it so much, I... I, I didn't want to miss. So I figured I'd just stick with things that I knew how to do. Oh, boy, that's smart. You're very smart. Well, I, I did want to thank you. There's a few times whenever I get knocked out, my master just yells at me. But you're very nice. Anyway, I, I won't bug you anymore. Enjoy your meal. I'll just walk oh, on out. Awesome. And then uh, take my dish and just uh, <laughs> just make sure, just to keep an eye on Vivi to make sure I don't accidentally kill him. <laughs> so, well, let's yes. just go ahead and get that out of the way then. Um, two ingredients have been added uh, to the list. Uh, since you are going to be fighting a fearsome, uh, fearsome creature, um, the, hold on one second. Where did my, where did my stuff go? There we go. The Taro Susu. Um, it is known as a bird-like, uh, a bird with an, an axe-like beak. Um, but more importantly, 
seems to control the power of lightning within that beak. Because of this, uh, an additional ingredient has been recommended, the Sparky Rosemary, which when consumed as part of the uh, food, if you succeed, uh, you will gain lightning resistance for the fight. If you fail, you will gain lightning vulnerability three for the fight. Also, because of the roll, um, Pickles was able to save the Anuraba heart specifically. It's one use can be placed uh, on one of your plates as an ingredient. It gives you the Noxious Spew ability um, as the Noxious Anuraba that you can do for one uh, once per the per fight. Or if you fail, you immediately take 2d8 poison damage as you're Ooh. eating a poisoned organ, essentially. God, it's like preparing those like puffer fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. So uh, we Fugu will- me. <laughs> Fugu me. So we will start with, uh, at this point, we will start with, um, with, with Vivi. Since we're rolling that con save anyways, please give me a constitution saving throw. All right. Okay. I'm good at, but I have advantage now that I've already experienced this. No, you do not. <laughs> Never punished. Yeah. Never yeah. punished. <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again, the acidic, the the acidity of the mouth. You could just feel it, just burning away at your mouth. But as you swallow it, it just enhances the flavor profile. Something that you've grown to expect from this void-like acidic salt. The void salt is a, a wonderful delicacy that you feel blessed to enjoy. Well, as immediately you as he how, takes like, his first bite, like Pickles just like puts his head, like head in his hands, just like, oh, I can't look. You oh my God, this is amazing. You put just the right amount. What? Oh. You put void in that? Uh, a little yeah. bit. Yeah, he put some of the mm. void salt in. I don't know where he got it from. And uh, with that, you're able to add your ingredients as normal. No negative side effect. For the oh, first time, oh, the wiggler the wiggler head stops wiggling. And if you could see his face, Pickle's jaw would be on the floor. <laughs> um, Vivi, are you adding any uh, ingredients to it? Or is uh, it perfect as is? Uh, no, it, it could definitely uh, use more. So you said I could add three. Three. Without... That is correct. Without any actual problem. Okay. Uh, so well. The, well, it's a cap of three. Um, the roll was just to see if you would survive the void salt infused meal, which you did. Uh, and then you could add up to three ingredients and you'll be rolling for, again, coin flip, 1d20, 1 to 10 negative, 11 to 20 positive. Um, All right, then we're going to go ritual water, mystery, con or ritual water, and sparky. That's okay. Just those two. All right, give me two uh, two roll, uh, rolls of 1d20. Please pass to make this epic. <laughs> and Thank you. And with that... <laughs> Look at these void salts at work, dude. Okay, so with the ritual water, you will become uh, under the effect of uh, bless for one minute once the hunt begins. And... The power of void salt compels me. The mystery condiment gives you a lucky one. Because of the- Oh, no, no, no. I, I did the Sparky. Oh, Not Sparky. The... Oh, I see. Well, in that case, um, the first, so what we will do, since you did a critical role in the Sparky Rosemary, uh, you will gain uh, lightning resistance. However, the first source of lightning damage you take, you'll be completely immune to. Holy I shit. I stand up on my table after eating my meal. I have been <laughs> imbued! <laughs> just see this cat just like reaching up to the heavens yes the salt flows through me Kirk just looks at his plate and just takes it away never punished never punished <laughs> all right we've got that um who going down the list um uh, pickles uh shit man i don't know you're oh, also free no. not to add any ingredient if you so wish. That is true. I'll uh, I'll just do mystery condiment once again. Okay. Good also, you gain uh, eight temporary hit points, so I will Sick. apply that. 
eight temporary hit points here. You know what? I'll get a, I'll get a little little riskier. I'll add Mr. Kahneman and enhanced tofu. Good Whoa. call. Okay. All right. Um, so uh, just a twenty. Yeah. That is correct. Uh, here's for the tofu. Okay. Uh, uh, success. Your eight now becomes a sixteen. Radical. For temporary hit points. And the mystery condiment. Hiya! Nice. Oh, God. More lucky. And, yeah, and you get uh, just enough. Lucky. Just enough. You want to add just a pinch. So far, so good. Good. Um. So. Uh, Hiyo, are you adding anything? Um. She will probably try. Uh. The, um, enhanced tofu. Okay. And you have and, two free uh, ingredient slots if you need, if you wish. Hmm. And a mystery condiment. Okay. Go ahead and roll for the enhanced tofu, and then roll for the mystery condiment. Okay, what do I roll again? Uh, roll, a uh, slash roll, space 1d20. <laughs> I see. Yeah. So, you lose Didn't that... this happen last time? It you did. lose that... The tofu itself mm. that you have placed as you take a big bite... You see the Spoiled discoloration tofu. immediately as it has gone sour. It is, it is considered spoiled at this point in time. Oh, no. So besides also losing your temporary hit points, the spoiled tofu will take effect and you will immediately take four points of damage. That bad, huh? Mm-hmm. And now roll for the mystery condiment. That's a stomach ache. Uh, with a 10, that is just on the bottom end of the negative side effect, unfortunately. And you will get unlucky mm. one as the oh. mystery condiment has spoiled with the comparison of the tofu. I'll unlucky. take the effect, but she's just not going to eat. She just pushes it away. <laughs> immediately. You just take a bite. It just immediately just sours you and you just push the plate back. Um, all right. Have you considered so, adding void? <laughs> <laughs> what about void? So, void. Just, she just diet. like folds up her arms on the table, just lays her head in it. And that's, that's it. So, <laughs> just like face down. We are officially at time. So, we can go ahead and roll everyone else's food buffs the next time and then start the the biggest hunts of your lives at that point in time um mm -hmm. but yeah we are we are currently done with today's Sounds session good. so yeah thank you guys so much for that that was uh, that was, that was fun. a fun time yeah, it was fun. i'm making a note that his addiction to void has now increased i'm <laughs> <laughs> making the note right there um yeah we man, we pushed right up against the limit so would you guys like All to right. save fan art for next week no, we must see the fan art. I can watch it now if everyone else I've doesn't got have time to do. Yeah, if everyone has watch time. It. Yeah, fan art. All right, fan art time then. Let's freaking go. Yeah. All right. They made it. It deserves to be seen. I agree. They took the time. More importantly, I made some. And I sure. want people to see it. That deserves to be seen. <laughs> All does. right. Let me go ahead and post it there. Uh, as always, if you guys have fan art to choose over on our IO Discord. We have a fan art section. We have a lot of gifts. Spoiler alert. A lot of salt being consumed. <laughs> Obviously. More salt! <laughs> uh, okay, and then I am going to post also Joe Cat's fan art, which looks... I Man, this, this is some... That is that is exactly the way I want to do it. Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm I'm talking about the fan art first. Okay, so uh, you were also really fast with it, Joe. Thank you. <laughs> Animating does that to you. <laughs> so with that, uh, we start off with boom. This lovely piece over here, mine. 
And uh... <laughs> I love the fucking shitty yeah. male dagger. Yep, the yep. Bent dagger. dagger. Bent. I love the fucking dagger. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. <laughs> uh, salt, yum. Delicious, tasty salt over here. Nice and little animated gift. <laughs> no, oh, a little eye twitch. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the eye twitch is so More good. Salt. This, this makes me dry heave, honestly. Uh, at, at, <laughs> so that was that was the beginning of the session. Here's the end of the session. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And here is going to be the next session. <laughs> I love the rainbow vomit. <laughs> oh god. Also, I I don't like I don't expect any any beneficial effect to come of this by the way I, I feel like i have to clarify that I was just like, oh you don't have to clarify anything i am fully right. aware <laughs> i know that there's no <laughs> beneficial thing at the end of this rainbow i uh i am fully aware no worries uh this is stuff uh that joe cat got to work on you got the uh the blink <laughs> of the frog perfect by the way that's exactly, <laughs> that's exactly the way it was um this very cute extremely wholesome handheld <laughs> move this bonus action adorable oh my god i absolutely love it uh and then <laughs> once again tripping on void salts look at that <laughs> oh my god <laughs> well thank you guys so much i really do appreciate y'all and uh yeah did you guys enjoyed today's session had some fun today? No, I hated it. Yes. You and D and D and my friends. All right. Well, oh, I hate you too, John. Scott. <laughs> oh, you're just saying that to be mean. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you pinch his cheeks. Just trying oh, to be mean. That's our Scott. Go play some. Go play some DBD, Scott. <laughs> oh, that'll make me happier. Um. Yeah, we'll be back uh, next week. Uh, where I am happy to report the story is going to be picking up into a direction that you may have not expected. So welcome Ooh, nice. to Hunter's Would some Day. say it's lit? Uh, yeah, I would say it would be lit famit. So uh, nice. Yeah, should be good. Should be good. <laughs> all right, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much. Nice. I'll, see you. I'll see you all next week. OK, Bye. that's good. Bye. 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 Oh, man. Did you guys have fun? Good session today. Good session. Guys, if you'd like to go ahead and join our happy little community, I've got, I'm posting the IO Discord right now in my chat. Go on, join the Discord, talk about some things that might be happening, some spoilerific spoilers in our spoiler section. Did you not like something or did I not uh, do a rule, a rule correctly? We have a rules lawyer section. Are you an artist and you want to post some art that we'll show at the end of the uh, stream? We've got a fan art section over there. Uh, I also want to give a shout out to our Patreon sponsor. I'm posting the Patreon link right now in chat. Our Patreon keeps IO alive and allows me to do this for a living. A big shout out to everyone uh, that is a part of the Patreon. Um, and especially a huge shout out uh, to Why Not Gemology, Baker Staunch, Wiry Traveler, Conair on DVD, Starter Pack, Lopar Panda, Twitching Peckle, and Eagle Wolf for their generous contributions that allow us to keep this uh, ship afloat. I'm currently looking for map designers, specifically tile-based map designers in programs like Dungeon Painter Studio and the like. If you are interested in making some uh, maps for IO, this is a paid position. I have an application pinned over our announcement section on the IO Discord. Be sure to head on over there fill out the application uh with some examples of work that you have done uh i will i'm gonna try and get to some peeky poo and peeking at those applications probably tonight tomorrow so i can go ahead and get some feedback for those that have filled the, out the applications uh because i need additional help um we're currently in io phase two and i'm already plotting for phase three which is going to be in the distant future but i know for a fact i will need uh map designers specifically for that so something to look forward to would greatly appreciate it uh and be sure to follow on twitter we're trying to get to ten thousand followers uh head on over to twitter.com slash bread um if you'd like to go ahead and catch up on all the io campaigns not just hunters of io we have a youtube channel youtube.com slash world of io uh go ahead and watch some of the other series if you've been enjoying yourself here it's been it's it's, it's more of the same just with a different uh different flavoring different style of stories being told a lot of variety of things happening there make sure to check out the youtube channel big uh big 
big appreciation there so all right guys once again uh thank you to everyone who subscribed you guys are the best uh yeah and so many subscriptions I, I can't even count at this point in time um but get yourself some uh trash panda raccoon emotes today uh with that lovely subscription whether you're using your twitch prime or with a tier one sub for five dollars a month you know how twitch subs work we've got some great subs we've got five emote slots coming uh, currently working on a four-part emote slot for our tier two subs, and then we're going straight into getting some emotes done for our tier ones. New emotes coming very, very soon with five emote slots open. Uh, it's going to be a good time. So if you like raccoons and you like raccoon-themed emotes, subscribe to twitch.tv slash brightultimus slash subscribe today. All right, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I'm out. I'm going to go ahead and suffer as I continue to diet to try and get into my summer outfit. I don't know, whatever. Anyways, uh, bye. Thank you again. Love you all. Have a good one. Uh, tomorrow at, we're probably going to stream earlier, um, but we do have a Pokemon Y randomizer with uh, myself, Kraken, Strippin, and Arix, number one Alex. Uh, make sure you go over to that. We are approaching the end. I think we're going to get up to the eighth gym. I think we're getting to the final gym tomorrow i've lost a lot of po a good 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 pokemon we all have there's been a lot of losses on every one side so um but i will i may actually stream i may actually stream a little earlier playing something else whether it be binding of isaac or just chilling with some satisfactory those have been the two games as of late um eventually i'm gonna return back to final fantasy 14 to continue leveling i just have not had the time we've had uh satisfactory and we've had binding of isaac those have been keeping my attention as of late so yes, yeah, the Nuzlocke is Brett you suffering 100%. That is Brett you suffer mode is that. So, all right, guys, thank you again for watching. I will see you all the next time. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Goodbye.